got no locks on the floor today. <laughs> Behave yourself. The whole wig will be on his floor, including you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Welcome to the Raw Pillow Talk Podcast. So we discuss the real, raw, uncut, and unapologetic versions of ourselves. You know that grow together friendship. Welcome back to episode seven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we're not introducing no guests because this is this is it. This is us. So we're gonna start with the mental health check-ins. Who wanna go first? I'll go first. Ooh. 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 Go ahead, girl. Talk your shit. How you feeling? I was attitude last week. I'm at a four. Okay, yeah. that's that's a big that's a big jump. Two up. plus two yeah. equals My four. My grandma passed away, but she's now she's laid to rest. Mm-hmm. And then she said that she's in a better place now. Yeah. Me? Let me tell y'all. I don't know, but I'm at a ten. Mm. I am at a 10. I have been living my best life. These last two weeks, ain't nothing been pissing me off. So I'm at a 10. <laughs> what is that song? Go Good 10. Little rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Um, I'm at a nine. Last week I was two weeks ago, I was at eight. I'm at a nine. I'm good. I'm good. It's doing great. I'm tipsy, so I'm not tipsy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot like, do. I, up, I, I, I haven't had anything to complain about. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything been going the right way. It's new, been a good new, two weeks for everybody. New money, you know, new new beginnings, new opportunities. You know what I'm saying um, new relationships, new new new. new <laughs> not relationships <laughs> meaning not relationship meaning girlfriend. Enough, I mean like new like business. You new, sure? Like, friends, new things. New partners, you sure? A lot of new things going on. You know what I'm saying? I promise. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't I can't complain. Everything I wanted is, 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 is looking like it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to come to life. Uh, manifested it. Yo, time. Put it out there. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're just going to jump straight into the questions. Let me go first. Okay. Mine's is, does titles matter? Yep. And the reason why I say that, right, is because... The last situation I was in, we didn't put no titles on it. We went with the flow. And the whole time, we was doing relationship shit. And then it was like, when we fell out, it was the, did we ever say we was boyfriend or girlfriend? So titles Mm. matter. It's like, if the person didn't flat out be like, oh, we're together, or let's make this official, I feel like in my eyes, I'm single and I'm able to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Oh, we go together real bad. No, we're not going together real bad because <laughs> I feel like once y'all fall out, then it's the oh well, we was never together or we never had a conversation that we was together. So it was like, what made you feel entitled that I was yours in the first place? So titles definitely do matter. Like if you don't come out and say we're together, in my eyes, I'm free to do whatever I want to do. I agree. Yeah, I agree. You right? Anybody else? <laughs> Control. You right about that? Control. You, you got right? something to say? No, I agree with you. Like a title, <laughs> a title, a title, put a stamp on things. Right? Like you could, you could date somebody, yeah, but nine times out of ten, dating somebody, they other people too. Yo, so mm-hmm. but how do you know you're dating somebody? If when they're... you're doing date shit. Yeah, like, okay. but not everybody think like that though. That's true. Exactly. That's not true. everybody think like that. Yeah, we going out there, all we just having a good time. Mm-hmm. I never say like exactly. it was mine. That's so yeah, that's so it was like it was fifty fifty. Yeah, you have to put a time yeah. on it to make sure that y'all official. Because now I can only say that for if if you know you got feelings for somebody, you know you got feelings for you, then the title matters. Mm-hmm. But now if y'all just doing it, you just do it. Then it is what it is. There's no title needed. Y'all just enjoy each other's time. Mm-hmm. Right. But what if sometimes. Y'all still doing like couple stuff too. Yeah. But there's still no title. Yeah. But what if the person's waiting for the other person to put a title on it? Because some people do that. <clears throat> Somebody got to talk up. I might do this. Wait for the other person to put a title on it, then does it really need a title? Y'all know what y'all are to each other. Mm-hmm. If you want that person to give you a title, and you want the other person to give you a title, y'all don't need to talk about it for real, for real. Like, y'all just keep doing what y'all doing. Nine times out of ten, sooner or later, it's going to be what it is. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, titles, they don't got to be said all the time, but you just know. I didn't put a title on, on yeah. me and my, my last situation shit. It was never a title. We just did that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
then I also feel like it's also about establishing stuff in the beginning. It's like if you lay out what you want in the beginning, then you can know what to expect. Because sure. it's like if we get together and, you know, it's just all fun and games and I let you know, like, I'm not ready for something serious or I'm not looking for anybody. And then later on down the line, you start catching feelings for me. I'm not wrong if I don't want to get with you because I told you in the beginning, I'm not looking for nothing serious. And that's yeah. where stuff gets fucked up and because people don't part. establish shit in the beginning. Right. It's like in the beginning, you have to lay the rules and regulations on what you want. So later on down the line, when one person starts catching feelings, you're like, whoa, like it's not coming out of left field. <laughs> but then if you do get with the person and y'all do eventually both catch feelings, then yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Take it how you take it. Yeah. Live your best life. Live your best life. Oh, my next, question. Next, question. next one, next one. Next one is, how many people would you date at once? One. <laughs> mm. I can't date too many people at once. But you see, that's the thing. Dating is not... Dating is not just you just focusing on one person. Dating is getting to know multiple people. So what is dating? Date. All right. So I just recently learned dating, like the whole dating world, because I had this thing where when I would start talking to one person, my loyalty was with that one person. So now you have to realize like dating is you getting to know somebody, but you're not 100% theirs. Like, I'm allowed to date you, and we could go on dates, and we could do this, but just know I'm giving that to somebody else, too. It's like, you have to line your options up, and then the best person that you feel like you match with, that's who you go with. And that's where ghosting gets involved. So, what if you have feelings for all the other people? But then that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> it sounds like you're very indecisive. But if you're dating, you're dating. It's just like you're having like you're having fun with multiple people. That doesn't mean you have to be sexual with all of those people because you you know what you do and who you want to do it with. But dating is like you just going out and knowing what you want and knowing what you don't want because you might date this one person and they don't have all the qualities that you want in that person. And then the next person that you're dating, they have everything that you want, but you just don't want to settle down right now. So. That's how I feel like dating is. Okay. Oh, I'm dropping. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. I don't know what's going on today. You. These you two know, weeks been amazing. It's been amazing. <laughs> and it's not even that. It's just the fact that when you've been through so much fucked up shit with people, you start to learn as you get older what you want and what you don't want. And that's why it's not good to settle on one person yeah. because you fully don't know that person. So you're investing yourself in one person. And yeah, it's good in the beginning because it's the, what is it? The. Honeymoon the honeymoon stage. stage but then when you pass the honeymoon stage you really don't know the person because you didn't get the chance to get to know that person so it was like you have to date other people to know what you want and you just can't sell and that's what i'm doing well me being the man on the on the, on the you know on the, um <laughs> nah nothing nothing it's weird because like a lot of a lot of men not gonna like, like agree with me on this but i date one at a time mm -hmm. like i don't date now like i don't i just don't talk to nobody or deal with nobody right now for my own reasons but I don't date multiple people at one time because, like I said, I ain't trying to my own home, but I know what I give. Mm -hmm. I know the type of vibe I give off, so I'm not going to give that to everybody. So I would literally date at one time, one, one person at a time, just to know that I need to really put my time into you, see if I can do this for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. If I can vibe with you long enough, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't date multiple people because I don't got the I don't got the attention span either to waste time. Not, not, I don't want to say waste time. That's no, that saying. is true. But waste time, I can say that waste time mm -hmm. on a bunch of other people when I know I'm really focused on one person. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know who I want to deal with. By the second, third conversation, I know who might intrigue me. You know what I'm saying? I might just be funny, I might just look good, or I might just be fun for one thing, or I might just be attracted to you because you got something going on. I don't think like how you look. But people's mindset don't be don't be there either. You know what I'm saying? So I'm big on that. Like I talk a lot. I joke a lot. You gotta be you gotta be able to match me. So I, nine times out of ten, it could be four, five, six different people that's talking to me in my DM or whatever the case may be, and I can't vibe with you the right way because damn, I fake miss her. I want to talk to her. That's true. You know what I'm saying so you know. So I don't, I don't waste time doing that. Like I, one at a time, I know. I'm boring me. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna respond to you no more. Oh hey friend, how you doing? <laughs> and you know what I'm saying skedaddle, like you won't see me. But then I see the person I want to deal with. This that's just what it is. I can't date most people at once. It's just, it's, it sucks the life out of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm faking it. Yep. I don't want to fake it with nobody. Especially when your favorite person you date and break your heart. Now you got to Now you mad at everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Like I didn't want to like, talk to none of y'all for the day because my, I'm not talking to my favorite person. And I don't like y'all. So. Yeah. I was about to lock you up. Right. 
She, she just broke my heart. Like, I gotta do you. Dirty. <laughs> yeah, nah. She done like, pissed me off. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's, it is also not. Broken. That's life. Yeah, because they did me dirty. I'm See, taking out my angle on you now. People, it's not worth the headache. It's not. It's not worth yeah. the headache. It's not. It comes a lot. Like it, it's cool. Like your friends would think it's cool. Oh, you got holes or she got holes. Mm-hmm. Or not. I, I agree with you hundred percent. No, I agree with you hundred percent. Friends don't think that because they trying to get with one of them behind your back. Yo, but it's like, I agree with you hundred percent. Everything you say, hey, bro, like, you know what I'm going through. Don't say yeah. that. It's not nothing cool. Like I'm really going through it. Like bro, I'm getting stoked. But most people, because so you get stuck. bro, I've been there, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, like <laughs> I've been there, bro. It's sick, yeah. Like it's sick. Oh, he got it like that. He got it like that. Like, you, you, you know who you want, though. You know what I'm saying, like, on social shows, you know who you want. So why, why play around with other people if you know who you willing to lock in with? Like mm-hmm. in the beginning, it's like, ah, yeah, I can talk to this person, mm-hmm. this person, this person. But once you really find that person, there's no point of talking to nobody else. That's true. You know who you want to. Waste your time on, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that's for me though. That's just me though. But I'm, I be mad sometimes too, cause then it's like you lock in with your favorite person just to find out that they a fucking weirdo. And I was like, I didn't got rid of my 15 holes for you. <laughs> now you owe me something. But how do you know when they're your favorite person? You'll know. You will know because even if you're dating a bunch of people, you just want to give your time to that one person. They bring a side out of you. Mm-hmm. That you like. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They bring that vibe out of you that you like, and then it's like. Other people, some some people really do feel like they're the catch. Mm-hmm. And it's like when you are dating a bunch of people and you're giving your attention to that one person, the other people feel some type of way. It's just like you're really not like interesting. So right. it's like that this person brings that side out of me that y'all are not doing for me. So yeah, lock in with your favorite person. I don't think because you choose you and catch you. That's not it. Let me see the question. That ain't enough. It came up a whole conversation. That's what I'm saying. You can be as pretty, as cute as you want, but you mm-hmm. can't talk. Maybe, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Next question is: <laughs> Have you ever dated someone that was toxic? Oh, yeah. Let me. See. I got you. Nah, go ahead. I'm just going right right You first. Let, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm find my question. Not really. I mean, I know the Aquarius, so that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's just what it is. But what it's is not. That even <laughs> some of them, you know, what I'm saying. Some, right? some of them is kind of, you know, Woo! some of them got sides, you know, but. Toxic. Not for nothing. I love I love my Aquarius though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like I, mm-hmm. I take that. On, I, I say that shit. Oh, I love, I love my Aquarius. It's fun. It was more fun. But it's times where it's like, all right, my, you keep, all right. She's <laughs> fucking with me. You gonna bring out a side. I don't want to tell I'm you. Find out. You know what I'm saying, but not for nothing. It's just like, I, it's not toxic because I never dealt with. I never dealt with the toxicity or nothing. It was never toxic. You know. It's people. Mm-hmm. I look at it as people. Like, I don't really look at it as like, you toxic as that. But you Ta- never, you what question? Toxic what do you think of? What does toxic mean to y'all? Just to- toxic right. is just toxic. Right. <laughs> just explain. All right. Explain so, to people. Like, all right. So, right. so you, yeah. not even that. Like, you ever been with somebody who is like, it's just a problem for everything? everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you find yourself yeah. arguing with them, or it's like, it's like every time you're around them, they just suck the life out of you. That's what toxic is. Okay. Like a bitch okay. who always want to fight. Or one moment they up, they down. They yeah, up, they like down, that's that's toxic. Like and I, I don't think y'all really got a common sense. Mm-hmm. That's it. Because they like that toxic. Oh, mm-hmm. They like okay. that toxic shit. But <laughs> yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing like like for me. I speak on my situation. Sorry, I love you. I love you daily, but like, <laughs> I love you, mama. My 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 queries, I ain't gonna no man. My queries, like she liked to pick with me. I'm mad cool, but she liked to pick with me. She told me this herself. Like I like to pick with me. I like I like the outcome. Mm-mm. I'm saying that's so like, toxic. Nah, cool. It might it, it might be toxic, but it was it's it wasn't all the time. Like it would be mm-hmm. like three, four months at a time. Like she's not toxic. That is I'm giving her a little leeway. Wait, she a January Aquarius? That's a January Aquarius. Oh, what the hell? She, but I'm saying, not toxic. Nah, I, I agree. <laughs> but I feel like that's a little bit different. Like she not toxic. She just like she just like I don't know. A lot of good times. It was just you know certain situations made it what it was, and me being who I am as a man, I am. But I'm I really stand on like, like men and women shit. So I really stand on like respecting stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So certain shit I just can't overlook. But oh no, like I didn't deal with a toxic situation for it. I I don't I don't categorize it as toxic. Mm-hmm. I'm saying so. I guess I can say no. I'm not gonna speak on my other situations because that that shit was just what it was. But uh, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like people that try to toast me, toxic. Fuck. 
Yeah, hit me up, yeah. text me, and I ain't even inter- I ain't even entertaining. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I'm getting texts on. Well, you talking about girl? No, you're lying. No, I'm not. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not lying, lying, bro. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. Lying. They did. Yeah. Females well, do that too. Back, that's when. Lying. That's when we're coming to you. You're lying. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. You be writing the back though. I'm not. Yes. You crazy? <laughs> <laughs> they play the fight, bro. I swear I'm not. But I will not respond. <laughs> I don't respond because not for nothing. I'm a man, so I know how men's emotions is. Mm-hmm. You're really hurt if you text me, bro. Why they don't go to their girl and ask their girl? Because, because she gonna girl lie is, about it. She gonna lie. Somebody. Gonna lie well, obviously, if they found out that they hitting you up, if you in a relationship, if you're in a relationship with somebody, right? And somebody hit you up talking about some yada yada yada. Your niggas doing X Y Z. I'm fucking your nigga. I'm going to my nigga. He's going to lie. That bitch is no, lying, babe. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, exactly. like, no. It's so weird. You don't think so? Lie. It's what? so weird. So you don't think prison got lie? Coming to me for a reason, so I know you fucking. But they, she ain't gonna just do it for no. But reason. sometimes nah, they listen, be bitter exes listen, who will make up crazy shit, listen, and half the time the nigga is not even fucking with her. Listen, in the beginning, because they just want to get underneath your skin. It yes. could be somebody he fucked in the past. It don't. People are crazy out here. Yo, let me tell you something. Especially if the dick is good. Let me if, tell you you, if you gave me dick ten years ago and it's good, I want that. Let don't got time something. for that. Yeah, just don't got time for that. Be who I am. I'm, like I said, I don't toot my own horn. I don't like to make it seem like I'm bigger than who I am. But mm-hmm. just both the both the vibe that I give off. Like I done dealt with people saying shit to people and it never happened since middle school. That's mm-hmm. you slinging Jason. that Loch Ness monster. But I know. <laughs> hey, yo, I never know. You're not dealing with people. You're not even touching nobody. It's just a conversation that could have been had on a friend tip. I like how he think. I like how he talk. I like how he, how he joke that's around. That's weird shit. He don't take nothing serious. No. What is this? Who is he? How he moves like that? <laughs> Who is this? Who is he? I got to get you back. You got to fight him. You know what I'm saying? And, this is, and I know I know this because I had these conversations. You know what I'm saying? Who is like, why he makes like that? He's mysterious. I like him. Why he feel like that? Why that, why that couldn't be me? So you know, people will literally make a whole different situation in their head to make it like, yo, bro, I wish that was me. So look, I'm gonna I'm get rid of everybody else where he had no else to talk to. He or she. No mm. else to talk to. So that's that's crazy. But are that's crazy. But that's, that's how people, story. that's so how people you're, are. So you're saying that there are people that will try to sabotage yes. the, yeah. Yes. It's 2023, they'll do anything. Yes. That's Especially crazy. the baby mothers and the baby fathers. They can't let that go. That's why I'm not dealing with. That's why I'm with no baby mother. That's it. That's that's it. Yeah, that. we had that. We, I said that. That's why we had that whole conversation. Mm-hmm. But um, I was in a toxic um situation with a nigga, and it was just like he was a cancer, and he was just. It was just like his. It was the energy was just. <laughs> it's not even that his energy was just draining. Like he was one of those people where like every day it was something negative. Oh, mm-hmm. my parents this. My baby mother, this like it was to the point where he would go through so much Instagram accounts or so much Snapchat accounts. Like he would have to text me from Snapchat and all of this because bitches were stalking him, yeah. and he was like hiding from them. Yeah. He let his emotions get the best of him, and what made him so toxic was that in every relationship that he was in, he got cheated on. So it was like every time I wouldn't answer him or something, what you doing? Where you at? And it was like, I'm literally not cheating on you. So it was like he brought all his negative ass energy towards me because of what he dealt with in the past. Yeah. And then it got to the point where, like, he had ended up trying to end the relationship because I wanted my peace. Like, I literally told him, I was like, I don't think this is going to work out. I just need to find myself and I need my peace because it got to the point where it was so fucking draining. And he got mad at me and blocked me on everything. Like, everything yeah, he and i'm like all right <laughs> and then you like y'all ever been with somebody and then when y'all finally break up it's like a weight lifted off of your shoulders like i felt like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders and we was broken up for two weeks and then he tried to like he added me back he had added me back on snapchat and trying to apologize and just and the third and he was like you know like i'm sorry like i want to make this work and i told him like i don't want to get back together with you yeah and i'm like i can't do this because for the past two years that we've been together I've literally been in like the most depressive state that I've ever been in. It was like, I just wasn't happy. And I don't want to go back to that. And I, it, it made me realize like these last two weeks was the best two weeks I had in my life since I've been with you. And then he got mad at me again. He blocked you again? He blocked me again. And then he came like, he had like, after we said we had to say like, it wasn't even like, a, oh, you know, I understand how you feel. It was, he was like, oh, well, who's the nigga? I'm like, there's literally no nigga. Like, I just want the peace for me. You're like, I want my own. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I want my own peace. Like, that's it. He was like, well, you be happy with your peace. I hope you find what you're looking for, the nigga that you with. 
the whole time I was even talking to nobody. I was yeah. entertaining nobody and, and doing nothing. And that'd be the problem with people. They always think of somebody else. Bro. They, they somebody always somebody think of somebody else in the picture. So, you know, we ended up, we didn't talk to each other for like two years. And then he came back and he added me like two months ago. He added me, he sent me like a whole paragraph of him. Yeah. Like two months ago, he added me. No, he had, he had added me on Facebook. And then he sent me like a whole paragraph of him like apologizing. He was like, you know, like you were the best woman that I've ever been with. Like I was childish. I was just there in the third. And mind you, he was older than me. And I told him like anybody that ever leaves my life, there's no bad blood between us. Yeah. Like how you left is how you left. I'm not about to sit here and dwindle. What is, is it? Dwindle? No. Dwindle. Dwell. Dwindle. Dwell. Dwindle. I'm not about to sit here and dwell on the situation. I'm about to but the window, <laughs> not the window. I'm not about to sit here and dwell on the situation. So it was like you, we ended how we ended. There's no bad blood. Like how you feel is how you feel. And I always know 100 percent is never me because all the niggas that I've ever fucked with, they always spun the block. So it was like that is what it is. And then I had another toxic situation, but we don't have to say that for a question that I know is gonna come up because that gotta be spoken on. Oh, gotta talk about it. Next question. <laughs> Oh, well, I did have a question. So my question is, um, when you're starting off in a relationship, what needs to be brought to the table? Hmm. At the moment, nothing. Like, in the beginning, I don't think nothing really. So, All right, so uh -huh. I like your question. For yeah. Me, you got to let me know about all your exes. In the beginning? And why is that? You got to let me know about all your exes because how I am, the type of man I am, I don't, I don't like surprise niggas popping up yeah not saying you talking to them or dealing with them i know i've been here with my ex i've been a little bit mm -hmm. I, I had a conversation with one of her old niggas he called her phone mm -hmm. so he wrote shut like if she know about me yeah I, I, this is just nonsense just trying to make it seem like he's more than what he is like you know what i'm saying like bro listen i step how i step i put hands and feet on men i let it be known right then and there on the phone listen your elbows bro. all that like you know what i'm saying so i said i don't want to be a certain way you know what I'm saying? Crazy. I don't. I don't want to be a yeah, certain way. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta let me know about your past. Turn it you gotta around. Let me know about your past. You gotta let me know about every situation you've been in your past. Now I'm not saying you gotta let me know all your business, but you gotta let me know about all the people that you think might try to sabotage what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't really got time for that. Cause I'm putting my all into you. I, I'm I'll tell you everything that I go through. Like me, me and Jada, name dropping. Me and Jada. No, 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 no. I told her everything. I'm saying I told her like what it was like. Oh, she she was that. This, she to, uh, let me know. I dealt with what I dealt with on the phone. Like no, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. If I tell you what's up, tell me. I have no problem letting you know because now, if I if if we go where I think we're gonna go, we're gonna deal with everything together anyway, right? All right, cool. So I dealt with boy. She ain't have to deal with nobody for real. But I dealt with boy because he was on some bad shit. Know what I'm saying, but it wasn't really nothing to dwell over. I'm saying I ain't really care for her because I, I said it's mine. You know what I'm saying like I really stand by it. She mine, she mine. We gonna do what we gotta do for that. You know what I'm saying, but you gotta let me know about everybody in your past. I be on with shit. I don't gotta know your business. I don't gotta know what what the last man did to you. I don't care because what he did is not what I'm gonna do. We two different people. How I think is not how he did. You know what I'm saying. So don't worry about that. This is this, this is this is heaven over here. I cannot. Shane, this is, this you about to find, you about to find peace. You ain't never found. Not for real though. Like this is this is something you don't have to deal with. Like, and people don't think that. Like when they see me, they don't think, oh, oh, no, I'm dead now. Okay, so, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm dead now. Like, I'll give you everything you're looking for. You gotta reciprocate it in order to get the shit back though. So you gotta give me the same respect I give you. Just let me know what you're going through, or what you've been through, and I'll let you know the same. Like I have one situation. It's only because I have my my son's mom. Mm -hmm. She's not a problem, but I just have a, a baby mother that you know. Everybody not open a deal on people with kids. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, this is my baby moms. We don't really have no problems with that. You know, me and her don't fuck, we don't talk. And we love it. Let me know if you got any crazy asses that I don't hear about. That's all. Yep, because any saying. nigga hit me up talking about X, Y, and Z, you fucking him. Yeah, I'm, 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 a, it. I'm saying, <laughs> I just knew her situation at the time. So I know she wasn't. I'm saying, but, you know, mm -hmm. people be crazy. So like I said, that's what we can do. Yep. What has well, to be brought to the table? You want to go, Diamond? Um, I feel like in beginning relationship, like if it's just just starting wise, I feel like you don't really have to like tell me what to bring. Like if it starts to get towards serious wise, mm -hmm. then you can start to bring up like what needs to be brought to the table. Mm -hmm. But in beginning wise, I feel like there's really nothing to talk about unless we like really really getting serious. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like I've done a lot of thinking on this, and 
like Diamond said, like in the beginning, you don't. I'm not expecting too much of you because we're still getting to know so each other. Hard, yeah. But when we do get serious, there's a lot of stuff. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you have to bring to the table. And I'm not talking about like financial wise and stuff like that. But if you see me chilling over here, don't come with no problems. Like I'm not saying you got to be 100% healed because it does take time to heal yourself. But don't come over here with no bad energy. I don't want no problems. I don't want no negativity. Negativity. I don't want none of that. Um, you, good job. I'm not dealing with the, oh, I don't got it right now. Can you give it to me? Not saying that I'm not going to give it to you when we get serious. But I feel like with some of these niggas, they get too comfortable with asking their woman for money. Yeah, same. And, and that's vice versa, too. Same. Women is the same way because that's because niggas make them feel like they have to but ask for money. There's a difference when it's a man. A difference when it's a man. So it's like, come with your own bread. I'm going to come with my own bread. We can match that up. Cool. I have a kid now. I have to know how your mindset is. I can't deal with no childish nigga around me. So don't come here with the gang banging shit and this, that, and the third. It's like, I have to pick your brain to see how you think. <laughs> I feel like when you have a kid, it's more than just dating that person just to date them. You have to date them for your kid too. Yeah. So it's a lot when it comes down to me. It's like, don't bring no drama. Have your own money. Have your own mindset. Like, you have to be going somewhere in life. Like, I can't, if you see me elevating, I can't have you behind me dragging me down. So yeah, that's yeah. like, that's a huge thing for me. Like before it was like I was going out with people like fucking with people because I felt like they would look good. But then I just realized like everything about them is just trash. Your family's trash. You have family problems. You have baby mama drama. I'm not dealing with none of that. So it's like come with your shit together. Yeah, sure. You don't have to be 100 percent together, but you got to be halfway there. You got to have some type of job. You have to you some, type, right, some type of some type of ambition year. because it's like when, the moment I start to feel like you bringing me down, I can't mm -hmm. deal with it. So yeah, uplift each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. uplift me. I will uplift you. That's how it is. But I'm not gonna say to, what to bring to the table. I'm gonna say what not to bring to the table. Don't bring it, cause she'll slap you at the table. <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking the table. Can't sit at her table. The table. <laughs> Don't bring the problems from your last relationship into. Oh God, thank God. What you trying to make of us? Like, if we're gonna be in a relationship or mm -hmm. dating or whatever. Like your trust issues, like I understand you have trust issues, but you could have just left me alone, you know? So why, if you have trust issues, why try to jump into another thing knowing you have trust issues and you decided to come this direction? I didn't ask to go to you, but mm -hmm. chose to come this way. A lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. That's what. Huh? If you have a baby mother drama, <laughs> let me know. Yeah, Speak on it. I don't like surprises. No, I'm for here. real. <laughs> And I'm like, who's that? Yeah, well, oh, that's, that's my baby. What? That's my yeah, roommate. Like, you have a baby? Wait, it be their roommate. Baby. Cause they don't no pictures. You ain't never seen not one picture of them dumb in the Oh yeah. But wait, no, they can be like six and they still be putting up newborn pictures. <laughs> 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 when was the last time you seen your kid, like, bro? That, that is this is this, like, he's in the hospital bed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he is Changing wrapped up. Paper. He is wrapped up in a hospital blanket. Your kid is ten years old. Something's not added. You've been posting that picture for five years straight. <laughs> like, come on now, something's not adding up. Is your is your baby mother keeping him from you? Right. Like, let me know. Why? Like, why? Is why? She <laughs> and why are you not adamant about seeing your kid? Like, exactly. that's what it is. Well, that's what it is. Wow. Like, why do you have so much free time? Yeah. You have a whole kid. How do you take care of all the time? Where's your kid? <laughs> that's, right. Right. That's, that's a fact. Right. That's a fact. Yeah. 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 Don't bring that to my that's table. That's just weird. <laughs> and if you don't have no money, let me know. Let her so know. that way I can discuss if we move further. We not moving nowhere. Yeah, exactly. That's where we're I not moving nowhere. Yes. So I can nah. just let you know from the beginning. I don't want to deal with that because you don't have no. Money. What do you mean you need twenty dollars for your haircut? I just started talking to you last <laughs> night, <laughs> bro. Your shit is wolfed out. I can't say last night. You look like you needed that money two months ago. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, All right, so look, mm -hmm. I got another question, right? Mm -hmm. My sister. I told my sister. Her thing is like she liked this dude, right? I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna say my sister because she doesn't <laughs> Right? She's like this dude or whatever. And she kind of found out he's like a regular little street dude, whatever. Mm -hmm. No money, no ambition, nothing. Oh, but nah. she tells me, mm -hmm. but she tells me he's good for one thing. The day of munch. Right. Hold on. Oh. She told me that. I don't know <laughs> why she told me that, but she told me that. Right? She mm -hmm. told me that. So what's your views on that? Y'all feel like y'all would waste y'all still waste your time. Good dick, no money? No. Yeah. Um, how I feel, because I've been in this predicament where 
I feel like my family has not liked anybody. Well, I don't bring people home. The only person that's really met my family was Jace's <laughs> father, yeah. and that was it. But every other relationship, I mean, I've never been in. <laughs> that was they. That was a long time ago. In a few years. But um, I haven't been in many relationships. I think I've only been in like two or three. But um, I've always had like outside noise with my family, where it's like, well, you shouldn't be with them because they have this problem, that problem, no ambition, no this. So how I feel about that is you really can't tell a person what to do with their life. They're going to do whatever they want to do. You could give them that advice, but they're one day going to realize that that person is not for them. So you have to let her go through her motions. Like if she feels in this moment right now that she wants to be with him, she's going to be with him. And it's like if you continuously judge her on being with him, then she's going to stop being open about it. She's going to stop telling you certain stuff because now she feels like she doesn't want to be judged. But she is going to get to that point where she's not going to want to fuck with him no more. You have to let her see from her point of view. So that's right. just that's like just she, what it that's, is. That's what she will know when enough is yeah, enough. Yeah, when enough is enough. And then when enough is enough, give her some time. And you be like, listen, I've been telling you this, yeah. this nigga is not for you. Cause and then she'll no up job. her standards. You have no job, but you probably still got money and give mm -hmm. her Because yeah, she's yeah, for sure. for a reason. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. sure that's not the only reason yeah. Yeah, that she's still there. I don't believe every word she's saying. Yeah. yeah. I, know, I know, boy, to a sense. Mm -hmm. You do what you do for his brother, he don't have any ambition. He's stuck in his way. Now, as long as you got a little hustle, well, yeah, it depends. So, it depends yeah. on what the hustle you're not is. Just being a bum. Yeah, don't yeah, just, yeah. don't be out here talking about you, you, Mama. I'm selling dime bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not a dime bag. Wait, like, hold on. <laughs> you literally came. You told me you made a hundred dollars yesterday. You went outside at six o'clock in the morning. You came back for a hundred dollars. I'm gonna be trying. He's trying. Nobody doing dime bags no more. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, nobody's doing that. Nobody. Nobody's doing dime bags. You're working the streets from six a.m. to six a.m. You're coming back for a hundred dollars. Exactly. At this point, exactly. You selling block work. <laughs> Your exactly. shit is weak. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna beat your ass. Now you're playing with me. Yeah, it, it it's a little hustle. It, it definitely <laughs> depends on like what Which the hustle is. Uh -uh. Go right. To Go to another street. Right. right. So yeah, it definitely depends on what the hustle is because it like you can't be out here selling drugs thinking that's gonna bring an income. Like there's people out here, you know, like doing Uber Eats doing this. Like I can see it's that ambition because maybe the work life is not for you. Some people don't believe in nine to five. Mm -hmm. So if, if you hustle in a different way, you're trying to get that bag a certain way to work towards something, I'm going to be with you for it. But don't come here talking about you selling this or you working the block. You're wasting my time. Like, I'm a so I have a question. Woman. Do money plays a big um, a thing in a row? Part. I go out. It I plays a huge part. And I'm not saying you have to be a baller. I'm not you saying know. we have to go out every day. I'm not saying we you have to wear the flyer shit. But what if tough times come and I'm the only one that's holding you down when it comes down to the bread? And I like to eat, so security, security is that yeah, bro. <laughs> I like to eat. Not even that, so like, you have money. like nah. I've been in. Brutal. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be stuck starving. Yeah, that's no. A, that's that's a, as a, as a man, problem. right? As a man, um, I feel like what you just asked is a good, that's a good situation because not for nothing, like, as a man, you're supposed to be able to give your lady that security to know yeah. she's okay. Like, if she got to mm -hmm. fall back on you. Or even you taking the front lines and handling mm -hmm. the situations, whatever, whatever your situation is, I feel like you definitely got to be able to have the bread or whatever, to eat, or had a means. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the bread that you might be able to have people as it holds you down at the moment, and they know you go for it, and you give it. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. you just gotta have a means to make sure every situation is dealt with on your. Part. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like, and when your girl feels secure, that makes her want to be submissive. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, if she knows, she knows she's secure, bro. She might love you forever. You might be, be like, the best person ever. Because yes. you know, like, now, like, now, now, now my mom's going to be able to do it. My pops going to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But to, to know that somebody that she ain't know 15, 10, like 10, 15 years ago, and y'all only, what, yeah, you all in our 20s right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody she just met one day to handle her situation and take care of her and make yep. sure she good. That's everything. That's what I'm saying. Do you saying? think there's a, like, you could be with somebody forever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you could meet somebody today? Mm -hmm. And they give you everything that person. Now, the thing with me, it depends on it depends on if the relationship is over or not. We yeah. talk about that too. Mm -hmm. Say you meet somebody that you hear how they talk, mm -hmm. and you, you see how they keep they, they, mm -hmm. they carry themselves and everything is they taken care of. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Now, if y'all not together no more, you and your person break up, and you meet somebody, I feel like that shit shouldn't. When 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 we all together, I mean, let me let me make it clear. When we all together, I don't feel like that shit should matter. Mm -hmm. Enough for nothing. If that person you've been dealing with that whole time, like so let's say he didn't even have a means, but he still made sure everything was mm -hmm. taken care of. 
I feel like you should still wholeheartedly respect and love that man who ain't had the shit, gave it to you. Yep. You I'm have saying? to have that Opposed respect. to the motherfucker that you know he got it, he mm-hmm. take care of every, every situation because he has it. Mm-hmm. We don't know how he gonna be when mm-hmm. he don't got it. Ooh, I want to mm-hmm. piggyback off of that. Saying? Yeah. Um, when the, I'm sorry, when the person doesn't have it, mm-hmm. when, when the person that you that you've been with doesn't have it, but make sure you good, mm-hmm. you should definitely love and respect that person more than the person that you don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, the last part is knowing you, that the la- this mm-hmm. person has it and still doesn't give it. No, to he'll you. give it to you, but you don't know how, how he'll be. You don't know he, how he'll be. Yeah. It makes it like the grass ain't always green on the other yeah. side. The grass yeah. ain't always green. Yeah. Yes. That's like, it. Yeah. The like, grass ain't always green on the yeah. other side. They might have some expensive mm-hmm. mulch over there. Yeah. It look good. It grow mm-hmm. a little greener. Mm-hmm. Go over here's a little patchy, but everything is situated. And mm-hmm. eventually it's going to get greener. Exactly. Um. So the question was basically like, do you feel like you could be with somebody and the other person could come in your life and freaking like sweep yeah. you off your feet or whatever? So I kind of feel like. Sweep you off your feet. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how I look at it. But um, it also <laughs> depends because let's say you're with somebody for a very long time and the spark runs out. And then you find somebody and they give you that spark. I feel like it's kind of that's kind of iffy mm-hmm. because it's like there can be certain stuff that you no longer are getting in your, rela- your relationship that that person giving you now. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why you're so high strung on this new person is because that's what you've been wanting for a long time. Like you was missing it. So now this person's giving it to you. So now it's like, all right, I'm dubbing this person. I was this because this person gave me everything. And now you dub the person that you was with and you go with this new person. It's all good in the beginning. And then you go through that same cycle. again. so you kind of have to be careful. Like, I'm not saying the grass isn't going to be green on the other side. Because it's always like a 50, 50 percent chance that you can go with a new person and they give you everything that last person didn't give you. But it's like you have to sit back and kind of think like, am I just feeling like this high strung person now because this is what I was missing? This is what I wanted. Like, everything's always good in the beginning. So you just have to pick and choose what you want to stay with. See, now we will have a conversation. Let me, let me use a reference. Mm-hmm. Okay. Y'all haven't seen that movie, Temptation? We I used think that already. That did? With, with Taraji P. Henry? Did we have this conversation? Nah, nah, nah it's not Taraji. Yes, it was, it was acrimony. Like, well, yeah, it was, it was acrimony. Oh, 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 yeah. This is Temptation. Temptation is exactly what she's saying. Yeah. She was with boys and she was like 14, 15. Yeah. Years. She had a whole He ain't never man. cheated. He ain't never did nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. So he never did nothing. And I met yeah. that guy with HIV. Wait, what's his name? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. HIV? Yes. yes. The birth, the day. Remember, Brandy was on two. He birthed on two. He yeah. birthed on two. Mm-hmm. So and then the hut, yeah. And then the hut ended up being the doctor. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to get it. Exactly what you're saying right now, like yo, that man with that, that person really be for you uh-huh. wholeheartedly. Yeah. Uh-huh. You, you gave up on him too. Yeah, yeah, you gave up on him. Going way too soon for this person over here. And now, like you can't, you, you, you probably never be married again. You can't have kids no more. Your whole life stopped because you wanted to see what that was. What yeah, that was what was that was what you wanted something new at that moment. Wrong with this man or this woman all your life. Yep. Somebody come show you a different vibe, and you don't you don't know how to stay stay solid or stay loyal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you messed your life up. You don't. Yes, now sir. you be with this person that was not Maja, that person that you moved on from. He found somebody, or she mm-hmm. found somebody better for her. They got a family. They look good. He making more bread. He doing good. Mm-hmm. He living life, and now you just over there stuck. I'm saying so that's just that's just what it is with me. Like, bro, you gotta just stay solid. Now nah, he your farmers giving you your medicine. Yes. Then, then you also you also have to. You gotta take this two times a day. Two times a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get excited. It's real life. Like, you gotta really, you cannot sit here. You gotta, you gotta take what you got and grow with that. True. You found your person. But now everybody's now everybody's willing to do that though. Exactly. Oh, that was the the lady who worked in the pharmacy or something like that. Yeah, yeah. now everybody's ready. Who's not because he was just a pharmacist? Mm-hmm. He, you're coming to him. Yep. He's still saving your life. Because she said he was born. Yeah, right. that's what it is. He's a country boy from where you from. Y'all the same person. You ain't nothing either because you ain't bring up to the table. Yeah. Born. And they crushed the mother prayer group. It's yeah. Oh Lord. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom, he yeah. Her yeah. Her moms, he her moms. He crushed your mother. And yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, Calvin she Harris. Yeah. That's his name, right? Yeah. The dark skin one. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. I'm saying? yeah. So you valid. So I'm saying you don't know what you're bringing into your life onto your household. You never know what you're doing. But a lot of people like that. They would say, "My partner not bringing so and so to the table," mm-hmm. but it's like. You gotta think about what do you actually bring to the table? Like, how are you? How are you helping this relationship too? You saying I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, yeah. but you gotta think about what are you doing too to help in our relationship yeah. and not just what I'm doing. Yeah, and all time that, some also people really everything. think they're the catch. Yeah, and now she, not. she really thought she was hit. 
Shorty, you're not it. You're just another person he's set up for life. Mm -hmm. well, and yeah, she didn't you, always you, look you, like that because mm -hmm. she, she yeah. ended up getting her hair done, wearing hey. heels. Yeah, like, and your man, like, he took you as you was, y'all. Mm -hmm. Like, I he feel like this is, a, this is a good topic to talk about, right? I want to mm -hmm. revert back to my parents. Mm -hmm. So my parents has been married for a very long time. Trash-ass marriage. Like, I feel like they should have been got divorced a long time ago. And my mother's always preaching about, oh, like, I can go find another man. Because my father, like, he does stuff around the house. Like, he's never been that parent where it was, like, more so focused on us. He was always the breadwinner. It was yeah. like, he had the great job. He was making top fucking money. Like, he was a baller. Yeah. But he lost it all because he, he wasn't humble. And my mother, she was always the person that provided. She provided, too. Like, she was a breadwinner, too. She made sure everything was done in the house. She made sure we was taken care of. And... Like, what I want to get with this story is, like, she feels like, my mother feels like she's the catch. Like, she feels like everybody else is the problem except for her. And she feels like she can go out there and get somebody else. And my father always reminds her, if you think you can find better out there, go ahead. Go ahead yeah. And my mother doesn't understand, if she goes and finds somebody else, the shit that my father put up with for years, the next ain't person no other not going to do it. With. Cause my mother, she's a very argumentative person. She's a very toxic person. I'm about to say she sounds she, very toxic. She's very toxic. <laughs> What's she's her very, son? She's an Aquarius. <laughs> oh, see, no <laughs> Aquarius, man. Well, yeah, what, 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 um, my, my January, father, right? My father's a Capricorn. <laughs> my father's a Capricorn. My mother's an Aquarius. Well, you, so my mother, my mother, so my mother is a very raw, so raw person. <laughs> And my father is a very manipulative person, but he's very quiet. Mm. So it was like when they get into these explosions, like if they get into an argument now, my father would just go downstairs and he won't say a word. But my mother would sit there and she would yell at him for like two, three hours straight. And it's like she doesn't realize she thinks she can go find better. I'm not saying he's the best person for her because he's very toxic. She's not going to find what he's he doesn't, provided saying, and all He doesn't that. love her. He doesn't love her. I'm, I know my father doesn't love her. Like he thinks he loves her, but that's not love because he's very like verbally abusive. He's not physically abusive, but he's always been manipulative. And he's always been verbally abusive. So my mother doesn't understand that she's not healed. So if you go and find somebody now, in this day and age, nobody's putting up with your shit. Like, do you think a person's gonna want to be with you when you're talking down to them twenty four seven? Only mm -hmm. my father's dealing with that because he knows the type of person you are and he knows what you bring to the table. So he's accustomed to it. But when you bring that toxic shit to a new person, first yeah, month they're out. So people don't understand. Like, yeah, you may think you're the catch, but the whole time you're that you're the problem. Yeah. So just because you think you're about to find a new person, the last person you was with been together with you for five years, and they dealt with they they dealt with your shit yeah. because they know yeah. how you get, so they know how to bring you down, they know how to tolerate you. Yeah. But the next person's not dealing with that because mm -hmm. y'all done started off on this great ass run. Now when shit's getting tough, they can't deal with your shit. And now you done left your old person for this new person and they can't even deal with you. Now they left you for the next person. <laughs> they can't handle it. It's like it's they can't fine. handle it. And now you by yourself. So it's like you really did this. There's always a good outcome to that situation. There's always a bad outcome. So it's like every time you leave a situation, don't think it's going to be better on the other side. Because that's what I'm saying. It always lead up to yep. the grass ain't always green on the other yep. side. Yep, yep, yep. So my question is, do you feel like your type has changed as you got an older? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Listen, we're still young. Yeah. Yeah, like. The like, stuff we used to do, man, what's right. that? It's before different I from what, what we do for, now. Before I used to go for looks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I used to. Huh? Uh, I'm just agreeing. Yeah, we all yeah, do I'm just agreeing. Yeah. I used to go for looks. Now I don't even go for looks. I go for your mentality. Yup. If you can't, like, Anybody can have sex, but if you can't like fuck my mind, then <laughs> you're nuts. <laughs> Not, like, just explore my mind, like talk to me. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. then brain. you can't get my my body. Mm -hmm. My soul has to be pleased first before my body can be pleased. Like you have to be able to hold a yeah. conversation and like I wanna see what you think. Like like yeah. Yeah. don't be basic because mm -hmm. everybody can talk about Oh, what's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. Or what you doing today? Like, don't what you <laughs> doing me today? Like, what was the color of your nipple? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, like, like, what? Like, what? you all touching them? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Right, give me something to think about. What color right. are my nipples? Like, like, yeah, nah, like, like stuff know. like that. Like, don't like, be boring and basic. Cause no. Like, so I, I, I'm gonna ask the question before. It's like it kind of left me like. Speechless, mm -hmm. right? And it's 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 very simple. 
But it was like, what do you like? Like, what is what, what? What did they say? It was a group. It was a group. It was the guys. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't a woman. It's the guys. So it's like you. You just know. Like it's people out there who think like you. Mm-hmm. You just put that out there. That it'll always gotta be female to male, male. You know what I'm saying it's just like as a guy. It's like, so it's like, what do you, where do you see yourself? What do you see yourself being for for your significant other? Yep. In six, seven years. What do you see? That is a good question, though. So I, I'm like, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Because you Something never know get you thinking. who you gonna be in the future, what you mm-hmm. gonna be in the future. And nobody ever asked you that. Nobody ever yeah. asked you who you're gonna be for someone else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? Bro, I don't know. I mean that. Like I don't yeah. know. But then that's just because I'm young. That got mm-hmm. you know I'm saying now during the conversation, I did say I want to be somebody's everything. Mm-hmm. But now you don't know what everything is. So yeah, because you never know you will what anybody else's walk of life made them need mm-hmm. later on in the future. You never know what the fuck happened. You gotta to study that person. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. Now that was a very premature answer for me to say. At the time. Because you could feel like you're giving somebody everything, yeah. but then but in their mind it's it's yeah, not everything yeah. that because that could be yeah. everything you yeah. think you're giving mm-hmm. for like, you I could to be, make That's why I say communicate communication also plays a big role in our life. Don't like communicating that all the time. Yeah, or they don't know how to communicate. Yeah. That so yeah. You have to figure out how to communicate with person mm-hmm. the way they do. learn they love it. like with yeah. me like, like when i say everything and this is how i know i'm not all the way there yet like mature i'm mature as shit don't wrong, but you but can still mature a little bit i need to be mature to that mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. To, to full day mm-hmm. so what i was thinking about when we talked about i said i could be the best partner they ever had sexually emotionally mentally all that shit you know what i'm saying but then now when i say mentally like i said we never know what these people have ever been through Mm-hmm. We never know if mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it out there for the people that's been molested, mm-hmm. for the people that's been, you know, physically abused by mm-hmm. their parents, by this person. They can't take loud noises or loud yeah. screaming at them. You never know. Because sometimes mm-hmm. people hold that shit in. And they'll shut down. They'll shut yeah. down. So now you can't. I, me saying what I said was premature as hell. If you guys wanna follow us on our Instagram, it's Raw Pillow Talk Pod, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. On Instagram. And I we do appreciate everybody who inboxes us on like topics to talk about. And um, one of my followers, Diamani, she did ask me to speak about a topic on the podcast. And the topic was basically dating and expectations when you take somebody out on a date. And it was basically men. So how do I put it? I'm here for it. I feel like when men take women out on dates, they take them out on dates for expectations for something in return after the date. How do y'all feel about that? First and not foremost, time, you know what's so crazy not about that? Not all the time, but some men do. That's a yeah. question that we had to get to. So mm-hmm. thank you for saving yeah. me for having that mm-hmm. question. I like this, right? Yeah. I'm not an ideal nigga in this situation. I, I, I said nigga for a reason. Because mm-hmm. a man ain't gonna look for the expectation. A, yeah. nigga, a nigga do the shit for, for the cut behind it. So a yeah. nigga will sit here and spend his all. Social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because me personally, I don't... Like I said, I don't, I don't take nobody on a date with an expectation. Because not for nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna speak on my situation. Me and Jada, we ain't do nothing for three months. For three mm-hmm. months, we was together, mm-hmm. we were dating for three months before mm-hmm. me and I actually had sex. Now I'm not looking. I'm not looking for something. You know what I'm saying? Like keep it up. I'm not looking for mm-hmm. not for nothing. I already know how I'm gonna turn you up. He want to bend you up one. What is it? One hand on neck. One hand on frontal. frontal. Okay, so, so I already know what's gonna happen. Like I already know now. I'm not saying I'm looking forward to it, I'm not feeding for it. But like I said, like if I'm taking you on a date, mm-hmm. I, I don't waste time on dates. I don't I don't take people on dates I don't see uh-huh. no mm-hmm. anything with. Yeah. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't see nobody on dates that I don't see nobody with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, me saying that, it's it, it doesn't always need an expectation. What niggas do is they'll go for the baddest situation that they see, mm-hmm. they take them on a date and want that to be under their belt. Exactly. The name of the list, the name of the black book. Oh, I kill uh uh-huh. That shit kind of corny to me because now, guess what? She could be the best father, but you mm-hmm. ever had, you don't even know. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta have a good ass time, but you was expecting some type of some. You, you, you expecting a lele out of that? Mm-hmm. You fucked up. Now, mind you, you never, you never, you'll probably never talk to her again. Never mm-hmm. lay down with her again. Now you baited because she's dead pain. Now guess what? The lad, the other dude that you saying that was a combo that she was that you know she's dealing with or whatever the case maybe the other dude she did. Now he kill her. Mm-hmm. Oh, he have a sense of they doing what they doing. But now you over here mad and salty about the shit. Now he taking her to Pound Town and she's from the ski. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But not for nothing. I agree. So it's like it's like you could have you could have you could have held off, bro. Mm-hmm. It don't gotta be the first date. If she would it, she would it. But yeah. if she's not with it, bro, hold off, nigga. You too horny, homie. Yeah. You a virgin? Yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. Your version? Some niggas be acting like they get pussy and they get pussy. That's what it is. Yeah, you know, listen, like, that really kills the fuck out of me. Word to my dad. I love all my men. Some mm-hmm. of my men capping. You heard? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not for nothing. Your whole love, bro. Cause not for nothing. Y'all dating. Y'all not together. So, yep. So she, she doesn't owe you nothing. There's a female right now that, that like your ism, mm-hmm. homie. That like your aura that will literally lay, shake leg with you when you want. Mm-hmm. Not for nothing. You, if you really that homie, bro, mm-hmm. don't do that. Hmm. But just know, bro, that one person that you take on a date is not that person. You know mm-hmm. you're not going to take that leg on a date. Yep. You know you're not. Yep. She's going to do what she wants you to do. Now, this one, you took on a date for a reason, bro. Because you've seen something. I'm not taking nobody on a date that I don't see nothing with. Yep. For sure. Or I'm not even going to tell you I'm going to take you on a date. For sure. So if you go on a date, bro, you can chill out on that. Like, it's the first time, bro. If she with it, she with it. But if you forcing that, like if you at the end of the day, oh, oh, I'm taking you home, you're a mm-hmm. fucking calm. But when do you like, when do you feel like, when do you feel is the right time to have sex but, when right. you just get into a relationship? So it's not somebody. even it's, there's no yeah, right it's time. Not, to me, how I look at it is if you take me, it don't matter if we went on six dates and mm-hmm. I don't give it up. It just tells me your intentions is all fucked up because you're taking me out on dates because you want something in return. You want me to give that pussy up because you're putting money out. Yeah. Like some men feel like they feel like if like you have to force them nowadays to take you out on a date. Yeah. Like when you start texting somebody, it's always, oh, pull up to my crib. For what? <laughs> we are grown ass adults. Like if you exactly my- it's like yeah. if you want to fuck. Let me know you want to fuck. Do you feel like you can fuck somebody if they don't take you on dates at all? Like, say, say, yeah, just I mean, texting and vibe and all that. Yeah, but, that's, but that's the vibe. That's the vibe. If yeah. if I feel like I just want to go to your house on the first link up and I want to fuck you, I'm gonna fuck you. Do that, yeah. But it's like, don't sit here and take me out on a date and just because you spent two hundred dollars on the bill, we driving home. Now you talking about some come back to my crib? Yeah. You're forcing me to fuck you. Yeah, like yeah. let it happen. Like, like let it happen. In that case, let it happen case, naturally. You're, you're 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 paying for prostitution. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like you <laughs> like your intentions. <laughs> like literally, that just shows me. That literally just shows me your intentions is just to fuck like you have no because sometimes these niggas they take these females out on dates they fuck them and then they stop talking to them because that's all they wanted yeah. in the first place and, that, and it's not even just to just to say men do it women do it too because women get in these these they mind that a nigga has to take them out they have to drop a bag on them you do got some women that's that, that was willing that. to do let it. Me, so let me you should have said that in. from the beginning. Uh-huh. 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 Yo, if you feel like you're forcing the dude to take yeah. on the date, sweetheart, he not for nothing as not, a man. He doesn't want you. That part, but it's two sides to mm-hmm. it. Because now, like I said, there's men out here that want to see your vibe for before I even take you on the date. Mm-hmm. Now, if we never talk on a certain level where it's like, all right, like, damn, I like your vibe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now it's like, you keep forcing a date on me. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. What do you want from me? Yeah. You want to you, you you want to deal with me like me, or you want to just go outside and enjoy the mm-hmm. moment? Now I'm not against you wanting to vibe with me because, like I said, you know I'm a vibe. I know you're a vibe. We can do that. Mm-hmm. But if you're forcing it, bro, take sis, it out. Sis, yep. Sh- Take it easy. Yeah, but what if she been waiting for a while for Yeah, if she been waiting for a while, then that's your fault, bro. Exactly. Okay. That's your fault, bro. <laughs> if he really <laughs> want to take fault, you out, he would. If he was really right. interested in you. Right. If a man is really interested in you and he sees mm-hmm. more than just having sex with you, he's going to make that initiative. Mm-hmm. No female ever has to ask a man to take him out because mm-hmm. if he wants to do it, he's going to do it. Mm-hmm. That's how you know he wants to take it serious. If he doesn't want to take you serious, you're not getting nothing out of him but right. some dick and that's it. Right. You're just a kill. Now, it's, now it's up to you whether you want to deal with that or not. That's so what I'm saying. Right. It's just a kill. But don't wait around either. Yep. And don't wait till it's, it's too late. Yeah. Yep. You know so, so that's that's like a, a man, that's like a huge guys thing. gonna be mad at me. I don't really care because mm-hmm. what it is. Every man different. Every man monster is different. If you like that girl, take her out. Mm-hmm. Take her out. Simple. But that don't mean you gotta shake leg either, mm-hmm. bro. Like it could, that could be date four, five, six, yep. seven, eight. Me and Jada went to I took her to the studio. Oh. I recorded a two <laughs> song. Oh. She made it to the studio. She made it to the barbershop. Bro. Bro. You know the barbershop is bro, a big studio. thing. I'm surprised you want to do some food after. Mm-hmm. Be outside. You want to just Next time, food again. Next time, movie. You want to go have some fun? Mm-hmm. We'll do that too. It's all about the vibe. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you gotta show her something. I'm saying, since you gotta show her, you gotta you gotta make him want to yep. take her outside. And I can speak on my situation because my last situation, I was on that. My mind was on a hundred. I just mm-hmm. I had just got out of a situation not too long. So I mean, maybe I'm rushing into things, but I feel like the vibe. So, like, but you know what? I'm not a typical nigga. I'm not the typical. Mm-hmm. I know what I get when I when I get <laughs> word. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying, I, I, but I'm sex, the sex aspect of shit is not important to me mm-hmm. because I, I, you, it's what you make it. You know what I'm it's saying? Mindset. It's a mindset. It's what you make it. You got to create the vibe. You got to make that person want you. Mm-hmm. So the sex shit ain't that important. Mm-hmm. Sex should be a bonus. 
what I'm saying? It's what comes with the shit. But it's all about the vibe. It's all about what you give out. So if you give in all one that session with the first date, bro, you're never going to get a vibe from her. You never know what you're, what you're going to get back. Because mm-hmm. we all want to be, at the end of the day, no matter what, nobody says, I don't want a relationship, I don't want a girlfriend, I don't want a girlfriend. Everybody wants somebody. You mm-hmm. want somebody because you, want that you don't want to be lonely. Be imagine that you perfect. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, as, or as good as they can because everything ain't perfect. Nobody yeah, nothing's perfect. You know what I'm saying? So you want what you can get out of the situation. So if you, or your first first situation, is, oh, I want to shake light, I want to have sex or whatever it gives me, you look like a goofy. I tell mm-hmm. them that all the time, bro, She's that's my man and she's that mad cool. I put you on that for a reason, bro, because I know what you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need a vibe. You're not trying to do this at a third. You look kind of crazy to me, bro, because not for nothing. You're a goofy because you wanted to fuck her because she looked up. Let's keep it a band. Let's, keep it, let's go to spade to spade, bro. If I wanted to fuck her, I could have did that. But no, I don't want to do that. I gave it, I, I, and I gave it to you, but I I, I, I introduced you because this is what y'all need each other. She's mm-hmm. a vibe. You a cool dude. I feel like y'all could be something. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. Even for me, I could have literally sit here and apply pressure and got that. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that, though. You know why? Because anybody I'm dealing with, that's why I said, go back to the question from before, I date one person at a time. Mm-hmm. I don't got time to play around with you and then go deal with this person and play around with her and play around. Nah, hell no. Got to take you on a date. Got to take you on a date. Got to take you on a date. But you see, that's the thing. Like, Just because you dating multiple people, yeah. everybody don't get the same treatment. The same vibe, exactly. Everybody True. don't get the but same treatment. I feel like some people, some people uh-huh. like actually take people out on a date mm-hmm. to see how they vibe. And they vibe the trash. That's and why then, I said take you on a date, see how you are, date, date. You not For me, I like I, I, I like I like going on dates. I'm not gonna lie. That's the one thing about me. I like going on dates. Wait, before you actually I like I like take I like taking somebody out like real shit. You have to say right. So how do y'all feel like? Let's say you getting to know somebody. Y'all went on like four, five, six dates. Y'all ain't fuck yet, and then y'all finally fucking that shit trash. Well, are you sticking around? Well, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse because me? Look, now, you got look, one time to give me whack dick. Now look, and you're out of here. Let me show you something. Now look, now look, look. Out of here. Yeah, yeah, right out of here. Right I'm, right right I'm right not now. saying I can't teach you. You can teach it. You can, you can. All right, bust my skeleton. I'm ready. Say you really vibe with son. Uh-huh. Every party he had before, just took what he gave it, and that's it, because they want to get their shit over. Now say you really like, you really like something for who he is. You're not going to teach him what you like? Yeah. Thanks. You can, you can. So, people feel like you can't teach people how to yeah. fuck, but you can. Yeah. But after multiple times, and you you still now, not catching them, they gotta go. I get and that. he's not getting it. You I get that multiple times. times, but if you feeling this person and his shit is back the first I'm time, why you. not? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna teach you because, like I, I like said, I like this. I said I like this. Like this. I said this before. Yeah. Not everybody is on your sexual yeah, level. You yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, not everybody's on your sexual level, so not yeah. everybody's gonna know yeah. how to have sex with you yeah. or what or what your fantasies is. So you have to teach that person. But after continuously doing, it, if you're still not grasping on you, your dick is just wet. Like, what are you doing? To me, at this at this point. It's just whack because if you're giving me head and I'm telling you right here, you over there, you're not <laughs> listening. No, no, listen, listen. Now you're you not here. listening. Listen, sideball, sideball. Let's uh-huh. talk about guys sideball. Uh-huh. Listen, man, bro, because I'm really a connoisseur, right? I ain't going to hold you. If y'all really don't know what spot to attack, um, at our, 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 our teacher, our please. Age, teacher. Bro, if you don't know the one spot that, that matters. One spot. If that one spot don't get attacked, bro, I'm not going to lie. You guys will pack up and choose on the side because <laughs> not for nothing, bro, that's crazy. Girl. Now, back to the podcast again, though. Yeah. Now, I'm sad. Back to the podcast So, back to, back to Diamond's question. So, her question was, like, how long do you think you should make somebody wait for sex before... Like on the first date right. or something, she just asked that. <laughs> <laughs> she asked, How do you know when's the right time? Oh, okay. You, you, okay, I had to think. Like, hold on. <laughs> I yeah, um, I did. I did. Um, yeah, what she said. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just feel like when the time is right. Yeah. Like we have this whole ninety day rule. I'm not waiting ninety Who's days. We're not all. I'm just saying a statistic. <laughs> they put it out. So you think you could just meet somebody and their vibes are good? You could just mm-hmm. give it to them. Just but because they vibe is good. Same thing. Let, let me tell you something. When I was growing up, in my head, I didn't want to fuck nobody just to fuck. Them. Mm-hmm. I'm grown now. If I want to fuck you and I'm horny, I'm fucking. You. We don't have to be in a relationship. None of that. If I if if the pussy say it wants it, I'm giving it. Mm. That's it. And if it's good, I want. And it. if it's good, I want it again. I just feel like they put this out there that you have to have a ninety day rule. You can wait for ninety days just to find out the shit is trash. So can you? Do you feel like I right, say so you messing with two people, right? I ain't fucking I'm not both fucking of them. Both <laughs> okay. I ain't so fucking I'm both of them. We're, we're both the vibes. Like you, you actually, actually like both of them. Like I'm you not both fucking vibes, both of no? them. 
Mm-mm, I'm not fucking both. I, I got morals. Listen, some of these girls, you never know. No real shit. You never know. Listen, how do you decipher who? Who? I mean, you know, because I feel like not everybody's vibe is going to be on that level. I can talk to two people. Don't mean both of them is getting the same treatment. But I can fuck with both people. Like, you can fuck with them. And that's the sad part because you might be a vibe, yeah. but you might not be for me. Like, you might be yeah. a great person. You, else. you know, I yeah, want to go back. Now. We we was talking about financially stable people, and I want to go back right on that because um, I feel like when it comes down to me, I feel like I've been the like the financial like person in every situation that I've been in. So now I feel like I have to reserve myself because the last person that I was with, I was giving this nigga bread, and he was he's an up and coming artist asking me for money. Last person before that giving him bread. So how do like how do y'all feel on like being the breadwinner? Like, th- does that get annoying? Like, you don't want to tell people that you got it like I, that. But like, when did you realize enough was enough? Like that? Well, honestly, my thing is like when I like somebody and I really like them, like I'm here for you. Do whatever. You could hit me up right now, which is bad, and be like, I need two hundred dollars for X, Y, and Z, and I'm gonna give it to you because I feel like you down and out. Boundaries, Boundaries once once again. But yeah, and I could give it to you. And that's the thing, like with the with the person I was with the last like the last time I was with him, like, you know, he was an up and coming artist and he was just basically like, Oh, like nobody's helping me with money, ah, ah, boom, sign him two hundred dollars. Cool. Get what you need to do, do what you need to do. And then it was like people take kindness for yeah, granted. Take advantage of you. They start he started literally taking advantage of me. Then it was like the old baby, you know. I just got arrested. I I can't handle this. Boom, eight hundred dollars. So you didn't? Boom, five hundred dollars. I was I was sending cash. I know, but sending out cash. So it was like, mm hmm. Sound like he's related to me in a way, right? It's not, but you see, that's the thing. It was coming all this. Is this one thing? Let me tell you on that part. Don't get out of here. No money. You know what I'm telling you? Because. Niggas got money for what they got money for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People was spending it on me. I pay for studio time. Yeah, see? You I pay for spend- videos. Mm-hmm. So I do a little shots open. My boy really be situating me. But you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I pay for all that. Mm-hmm. You pay for the image of being a rapper. You do all that. Mm-hmm. You got money to take care of your business first. Yep. Me, the reason why I drop how I drop and handle mm-hmm. how I handle, I take my business first. Yeah. I make my son good. My mom's good. Mm-hmm. I help out whenever. She don't take my help. But whenever I can. I make sure bills are situated. Everything, everything at home is taken care of before yep. I take care of the other shit that I want to do with myself. Because home is is everything. Mm-hmm. So if a nigga feel like he got to ask you for money, mm-hmm. you're an up and coming artist, bro. There's a bunch of other shit that you literally could have put to the side yeah. real quick. But you know what it is? Mm-hmm. When I realized when the situation ended, he was using me. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't yes. even. It wasn't even like a. Oh, he needed the money. I literally, cause, yeah, cause I found out that he was cheating. He just took the money because it was available. Exactly. So yeah. he knew he could get over on me. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if he was taking that money, using it for his next bitch that he was fucking with, mm-hmm. that I found that he was fucking with. But it wasn't even like a oh, like I really needed the money. He knew he ain't have to use his money because he can come and get it from me. Yeah, you're ATM ten. Basically, yeah. and um, that's why I said he paying you back. Like he be paying you back. He never paid me back. It was it was the like with the whole like with the whole dog situation. It was like oh you know I just got out of jail and I just need five hundred dollars. I already paid this. My rent's coming up. Da, da, da. But like like I said, how I am like if I really like you and I really fuck with you. That you I was just about to say that you, like, I feel like when you feel like thing. you really like somebody or like, love somebody I really and really like you yeah. and you're down and out. I'm gonna and give it to you. Fact, yeah, you're down and out. I'm gonna give it to you. But I don't want it back. Yeah. But it was the fact that he was like, "I'm gonna give you the money back twice times what you gave me," and he I never got that. False hope. And, and I, I never got bro. that shit back. Yeah. And I don't know, like, it was all lies because it was like he knew because I was younger than him. He's 34 now, and I'm freaking 27. He took advantage. He took advantage. He knew he could get it from me, and I should have known. Red flags was like you lived in the hood. You're 34. You're still trying to get your music up and coming, and you cheating. Like, man, you have no you have space no, and opportunity to be, you like, your no priority be all back. fucked up. You have no way to give me a band back. If you were in the hood and you're not one of them dudes that came home with the money. And he made no money because he back. worked in construction. So <laughs> I, I just knew about he had the money. He, have a job? he worked He worked in so construction. He so so he, was, he, he was he was using his money, money for him. That's what I said. That's the thing. I'm an artist, you do that. Videos ain't cheap. Studio time ain't cheap. Clothes ain't cheap to fit the image of a rapper. It ain't cheap. 
So, you know yeah. do you feel like when you're in a relationship, you want that person to match what you give? Like, say, yeah. all right, I take you this place, mm -hmm. take to that, I pay this bill, pay this bill, so and so. Would you want something to do it? Time, though, but it would be nice. Because see, what if your partner don't got it like that? Yeah. I mean, if they if you don't have it like that. So would, it, would it, that person have like that either? Like, say if I'm, yeah. I want to make sure, like, all right, I'm going to give in a relationship, so and so and so. I treat you here, I take you here, pay for this, pay for that. I expect, like, not even expect, I would want you to do the same thing. Like, if I don't nice, have it either, yeah, yeah. it'd be nice it'd be to get nice. it in return. Like, even though I don't have it, I'm going to make sure I'm going to find a way to get this for, yeah. but for both of us. But it's like... But then you I, get tired of not having it. That's, that's the like thing. The I'm seen. asking, like, yo, why you... Why you can't do this for me? Why you can't do that? Oh, I don't got it right now. That, but it's like, so I didn't have it either, but I still made a way to find out to do that for you. I a way to take care of me. Like, I don't want you to take care of me. You're not it don't got to be all the time. Yeah. Not, not, not even me. all the let time. Me, like, let, me, let me take that out. Let me take that out of the vocabulary. You don't got to take care of me at all. Yeah. I'm an adult. I don't need you to take care of me. It'd be nice. But it'll be nice for you to be able you to, to do some a load off yeah. once in a while. Mm -hmm. Once a year is cool with me. Twice a year is cool with me. But take a load off of me. Mm -hmm. I'm well, buy saying. me a little gift or something. Some, and you know what? I feel like that's where my problem lies because the nigga ain't do nothing for me. He ain't never taken me out on dates. He ain't do it. So that was my fault. Oh, yeah. So it was like I'm not mad at him. I have to be mad at me because he mad never at you. he never put the energy in. Yeah. He never took me out on no dates. It was like every time I went to see him, it was an excuse. So that should have been a red flag. So that comes to the question of like, have y'all ever been with a narcissist? Because I re I realized that he was a narcissist. <laughs> And when I, how I realized that he was a narcissist, right, was just the fact that it was like, I felt like he took he took his age to a thing. Like, his age was like a big thing. It was like, he felt like because he was older than me, yeah. he could talk to me and treat me how he wanted to treat me. And there was so many red flags that I seen that I kept passing. Yeah, it like, it was like, it was like, it was just like the way he talked to me. Like, he used to talk to me like I was a piece of shit. Like, you was a child. Like, you I was know, a child. And, and you know so what? Why he used, to, he used to always tell me like, it's the little girl shit I'm talking about. Like you, yeah. you act, you move like a little girl. It, it would be like simple shit. Like and you, you think to your head, like maybe I am. Like, but why did you allow it? But you're not wrong by you move. Because so, like I said, the whole based shit, up growing up, not even I feel that, like that. I loved him, okay. and he had told me he loved me first. I never told him that, but yeah. that goes based on back to what Kachal was saying about his sister. You can't let somebody, yeah. like you can't tell somebody what to do when they're in love with somebody until they figure it out. Yeah. And it was like. I then realized at a certain point, point, and I told him many a times, I'm like, I like you more than you like me. Not knowing the whole time that this nigga was using me. So Sometimes it was like, I didn't know. You. That's what I'm saying. So it was like, I literally didn't even know that I was with a narcissist until I realized he was a narcissist. Because it was like, it was like, I couldn't, I had to hide, like, all right. So basically, when I realized he was a narcissist was like, I felt uncomfortable around him. And I don't know why I kept pushing that off. It was like I would spend nights at the house. And it was like I was scared to even go to the bathroom. Because I was like, he would get up. What are you doing? Where are you going? Yeah. Like, I felt like he was controlling my life. Literally. And I, I literally didn't even know, like, what a narcissist was until I was with him. It was like I had no say. He felt like he could tell me whatever he wanted to tell me. He could talk over me. It was like, literally, my opinion and anything did not matter. So I could feel some type of way. And instead of him being like, all right, I understand how you feel. And let me tell you how I feel so we can work on this. Yeah. It was like, I'm right every time I, t like every time you bring a situation or a problem to me, I'm right. That's just how it was with him. And he made it seem like you He made it seem like I was the problem. Every time I would bring something. Well, I do X, Y, and Z. Or I, this is how I am. This so is he how never I took move. accountability for anything. He never took accountability for anything. So it was like, when you were a narcissist, you literally lose yourself because it's like, Every situation, you feel like it's your problem. Mm -hmm. like, he he problem. had never apologized never, one time, nothing. Not one time. I told you this, but even that day you called me, mm -hmm. that shit hurt me more than it hurt you. And I'm like, why is my friend crying? Like yeah, this? it didn't even make it. Like, because you know what it is. It's, it's, and and then it's like it's like I felt like I had to hide everything from my family because it's like I couldn't even tell my siblings nothing because I judged. I didn't want to be judged. But it's like literally, I'm putting out all this money. I'm giving you all this money. I'm. It's like. You could tell me, like, one night, right? He had hit me up. His uncle had died. He was like, I want to see you. I, I stand the third. And every time it came down to me seeing him, he would just disappear. Like, he will tell me, like, oh, like, I want you to come over. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm texting this boy back and forth. No fucking replies. He's falling asleep, quote, unquote. I'm outside waiting for him to ring me in. One night, I called him. He told me to come over, and I called him. I'm like, yo, I'm outside. It's fucking 5 o'clock in the morning. 
You fucking calling me, you waking me up out of my sleep, nigga. You just told me to come over. Just told me, I you literally just told me to come over. If you knew I was coming over, why you ain't stay up? Yeah. But back to the whole situation with his uncle dying, he was like, Oh, I want to see you. Like, I want to spend time with you. And I'm like, Okay, I get ready. It's like 12 o'clock in the morning. I'm blowing his phone up. No reply. He texts me the next morning, five o'clock. I don't know how I fell asleep, but I fell asleep. So my sister, she had texted me. She's like, listen, let me tell you something. She's like, any nigga really want to see you? And he's she really, time. Yep. he's not falling asleep. I don't care how tired I am. Mm -hmm. I'm staying up because I know you coming over. But now I know after I found out that he was fucking with the next bitch, the next bitch was over his crib. When so you, you, you hit up, up yeah, yeah. you hit up the next bitch. So you don't need me no more. Yeah. So, so it was, was like, he was, he was basically using me as a backup. Yeah. And it was, Do it you was feel like, shit. back to family, I, can't, well, well, mm -hmm. I don't know what episode it is. Do you feel mm -hmm. like, the way you was raised and what you've seen growing mm -hmm. up plays a big role it in plays a big part a relationship cause you, cause, nowadays because you know and what, what you're toler tolerating stuff right now because you know what it is like i said i see my mother deal with so much shit like i've seen the infidelity she said that. i've seen the, that's right yeah i've seen like what my mother because like i said my mother and my father have been married for a very long time he cheated on her she stayed so it was like with certain shit i feel like it's okay so it's like every time i get in a situation i settle for less than i sh i'm supposed to settle for so it was like every nigga that I've dealt with has treated me like shit and I've been okay with it because it's like, I don't know no better. And now that, <laughs> shut the fuck up. so it's like, it's like now that I reflect on certain stuff, I'm like, all right, maybe I shouldn't do that. And you know, what's kind of bad too. Like the, like the one that I'm dealing with now, like, I don't want to say it, but, um, like he's opening up doors to shit that I've never, like, I've never got flowers from a nigga. Like he was the first nigga that I got flowers for. Shout out to you, gang, because you fucked our engagement up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, though. Like, but it's like, yeah, here, but it's like, I've I never got like flowers that. from no nigga. He was the first nigga I got like, flowers. First nigga that took me out on dates and stuff. Like, he's doing spontaneous shit. shit. And I find myself, like. I don't know how to explain it, but when I was with my child's father, like I used to get mad at certain shit, like because my attitude, I'm trying to contain it. It's kind of hard to contain, but it's like sometimes I get mad at little stuff. But with him, it's like I'll get mad and he don't pay me no mind because it's like he's a grown ass man. So it was like, if you have an attitude about something, come and talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to talk, you sit there in that corner. You be upset until you are ready to talk. And that's how he is. And it's like yeah. and he don't try to force you. He don't force me to talk because it's like you're a grown ass adult. When you're ready to talk, we can talk. Yeah. But it's like my my mind is literally like so fucked up from like the shit that I've been through growing up and the, sh and the shit that I've dealt with with men. It's like I really don't even know how to be in a relationship because I've been dogged out my entire life. So I think certain shit is okay. So it was like when I'm not getting dogged out, I don't like it. It feel weird to you. It feel yeah. weird. I'm, so it was like now yeah. this now this man is coming into my life and, and he's, he's treating you, me good. He's showing you how he's showing me how I'm supposed to be treated. It's like. Every time I find myself trying to revert back to my toxic ways, do it's it. like I literally sit down and I think I'm like, he ain't do shit to me. Regardless I'm a, what you yeah. do with a nigga like that, he gonna mm -hmm. correct your shit. He's gonna correct me. Like, like, so it was like, like, like... Nigga sound like me in a way, but mm -hmm. I don't deal with that shit neither. Mm -hmm. like, I'll literally not say nothing to you until mm -hmm. you're ready to until speak. Until I'm ready to speak, yeah. I'm gonna jump in on that also. Like, I feel like for what I growing up on and mm -hmm. was raising on, I feel like now mm -hmm. it actually opened my eyes and see like relationship wise it did play a big part in it yep. Commu communication wise mm -hmm. opening up everything so it's like growing up i didn't have anybody to go talk to about my feelings like if i mm -hmm. did they basically just shoot it down so it's like if somebody hit, sitting here trying to talk to me about communication or opening up mm -hmm. tonight i don't know how to express it or mm -hmm. open up to it so it's like if i'm not used to that growing up how can i possibly change it so yeah it was it was it was, was kind of hard so i was like yeah. now i feel like what i actually went through still going through and trying to heal from it it's it's, it's hard to open up a relationship wise it is. or just communicate or just anything mm -hmm. in general like just your partner say yo i need you to do this and that mm -hmm. and you like you think it's like damn how the hell am i gonna do that like, I, I don't know how to do it I, i'm not used to that so yeah. it's like it's stuff like that takes time to have what's mm -hmm. saying so now i'm like, actually seeing like, yep. like all right that did play, play a big role in relationship wise yep. and all that that's me too it's like i'm it's like i'm literally like with the whole situation i had told kiara about like i had got in like it was like a whole situation like a month ago it was it a month ago i don't even know and something had bothered the fuck out of me with this boy and instead of me talking to him about it like i just got quiet and i just went in the room and it's like i went to sleep because it's like my thing is i've always like growing up i've always like learned to keep my feelings to myself and how i mm -hmm. and, like my communication to myself is like i don't know how to communicate with people so it's like i just shut down that's that, me too it's, like, that's but it's also me i feel like 
even though I don't know how to communicate, mm -hmm. I will want my partner to say, hey, can you like, see if you guys an argument and that person don't want to talk, I'm the type to come to you over and over and ask, yeah. like, what's wrong? Like, talk to me. Like, I want to communicate. Mm -hmm. I, I try to get out that old stage where mm -hmm. I was so used to it and just, all right, yo, you got to talk to me. But it's like, mm -hmm. sometimes people don't want to talk at that moment, but it's just me. I want to know how you feel. Why? Because I would want somebody to know how I feel too at yeah. that moment. So, yeah. Yeah, so she said, when I shut down, I shut down. Mm -hmm. And I can go days without talking. Yeah. But that's something I'm learning. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> days. It's kind of difficult. Yeah, days. Like, I, gotta, I yeah. will try to talk, but if I feel like I can't talk, I'll leave. I'll walk away. Yeah. But I don't and, like that. And yeah. I don't like it either. But now, the reason I do that is for my own mental. I don't have an annual problem. I'm calm. Mm -hmm. And that's somewhat, that's sometimes my problem. I'm too calm. Because then now when I get to the point where you're taking me. Now it's just scary. Now, now I it's turn me, into It's me, daddy. Oh, Why are you talking to me like that? <laughs> so, now, now, I, now I see red. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Now I got to see red. This is my girlfriend. This is my, this is, this is mm -hmm. my lady. I can't do that. So now when I walk away, I, feel, I need time to myself. Wait, it's the cold. It's, I feel like it's, 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 it's appropriate for me to do such a thing. Because if I stand there with you for too long, However, you talking to me, I'm gonna reciprocate the energy. As a man, being a man, I can't reciprocate the energy you give me because I know as women, some women are extra like emotional and they say things they don't mean. Now, as a man, I'm no. sitting there taking in everything you're saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, even with that, you're saying shit, yeah. and I'm just waiting. You're eating it. Up. And now I'm like, this, oh yeah, yeah, you keep it up. You fuck around and find out. You keep <laughs> it up. Now, That's guess what? I'm gonna make you so cry now. And I don't wanna do that because I love you to a sense. I love you. I, I can't put it out there. I love you. So if I'm, if I, I love you. If I'm walking, mm -hmm. if I'm walking out that house, and I'm taking time to myself. I love you. Understand that. And so I, now, yeah, I, I, I used to do that when I get angry and mad about like conversational. I just, I, I used to go like dip the crib and just walk around and come back. Like, all right, yeah. I, I used, used to do that. I used to do that. <laughs> on a bridge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just take one step. Look, look, look. You come back in here. You come back, you it come must be on, on the beach. Like, yes. Like, <laughs> but then as as I got older, I realized like that's not really the the way to go about things. So yeah. now I'll be like, all right, yeah. yeah, we just had an argument. So and so, everybody have have arguments. It's not perfect. Like, yeah. what's wrong with you? Like, communicate. Tell me what's what right. I got to do with so and so and so. But it's like, I like that not talking in and disappearing. Like, that just yeah. I don't like to talk. Like, leave me alone. Speak. Don't you say you wasn't toxic. Not, you you, know, you, you said you wasn't toxic. Exactly. But that's not a toxic trait. Yes, you did. But I feel like that's not a toxic trait because um, I feel like when you get into a disagreement with your spouse, y'all know that toxic trait. Yeah. 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 Like, it really made sense to me because it's like, let's say you're in a heated argument with your partner and they finish saying what they have to say and you automatically have an answer. You didn't listen to anything. Him, yeah. You didn't listen to anything that they had to say because the whole time they was talking, you was orchestrating your freaking answer to what they're saying. So you're not listening. So when it comes down to heated arguments, it's okay to take time and... Be to yourself because you're trying to get your, your emotions together. You're trying to get your thoughts together. That's okay. But when you're not arguing with somebody and you automatically have the answer, you're not listening to your partner. And then sometimes, too, like when that happens, and I do that, I listen to what you're saying to me and I don't say nothing at the moment. And then I bring it up later. I'm like, you're like, why are you mad? Da, 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 da. Well, you said this to me and I didn't like how you said it. And then sometimes you be like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm like, yes, you did because I was listening. I remember when you said that, and it happens like that all the time. Yeah. And that's just the type of something. I like to take information. Like, I don't say much, but I listen to a lot. Yeah. And I listen to what you said to me when you were heated in that moment. Because I don't say nothing to make you upset. Like, what I'm saying, how I respond is how you, how I feel like you attacked me. So I'm gonna, you're going to get the response, and you're not going to get the good one. So that's why I just shut down. Because I know, and when I cry, I'm not crying because I'm upset. I'm crying because I'm angry and I couldn't really do some shit, you know? He said kill you. Do you take accountability for stuff that you do? I do. Not, I'm not going to say all the time, but I will learn you to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so that brings me to the next question. <laughs> so that brings me to the next question. I can't look at that. He's mad crazy. So the next question is, right? 
Have y'all ever been in a relationship or like dealt with somebody who you know for a fact is the person that you need to be with, <clears throat> but you know that spark is not good. Like you don't, the spark is just not there with the person. Like, have y'all ever dealt with that? You know how you want something, like you know what you want in a person, and then you get that, but it's like when you get it, you yeah, just feel like the spark's not there. So how I can say for me is like. I be asking for a good guy. Like, I want somebody to take care of me. I want somebody to care about my feelings. I want all of that. But then it's like, when I get it, it's just like, I'm bored with it. So it's like, I'd rather that toxic energy. But do so you do consider their feelings as well? Do you think you're the spark for them? Mm-mm. No? no? So you want that spark to be the same from beginning all the way to end? You don't think people can have, like, certain that's ups and downs? No, it's part it's of a like, relationship. Like, it's like, it's, it's like, part of a relationship. Like, you you, you like, can't get the same I thing from the jump? It's like, all right. So it's like when I get a good guy who I know for sure is somebody that I that I'm asking God for, is like I feel like I don't need to be with them because I'm so accustomed to being treated like shit. You know what you need. I feel like being treated like shit. Make, that it brings gives me back to something. You say you asking God for, God for a good guy, mm-hmm. but are you asking God to make you the good person for that guy? That's the thing. Mm. That's the thing. See, partner, people See, just want the what thing. they want, but not think about the other partner. So it was like, so it was be like I'm them. trying because, like I said, I do have like, I wouldn't say anger issues, but it's like I do, I know for sure that I have stuff within me that I need to work on. But it's like when I get with the next nigga who's treating me good, I'm not used to it. So it was like, so I, those bad I'm so used to the bad boys, and I'm so used to being treated bad like boys. shit. Bad boys. You the nigga from two two eight and married. Right. <laughs> when I get when I get a good nigga, it's like when I get a good nigga, I don't know what to do with him because it's like, all right, you not calling me out my name, you not treating me like shit. So what am I doing? It's liquor, it's liquor in it. Yeah, yeah. It's nah, no, nah, no, I'm saying that, no, like, not even speaking on me. Shit, I ain't trying to speak what you got going on. I'm, you know, it's really all a joke for her. It's really my heart for her. But I'm saying, though, you need a nigga who can handle you. But she don't now, know how she wants to be handled. That's and, that, and that's why she needs a man who's going to tell her how she needs to be handled. Not tell her, but so show her how she needs to be handled. I you need to be a man who's going to really I look can't. at you when you're crazy. Like, like, you like, see, that's the thing. Like, like, your attitude mm-hmm. and how you get, you don't want to talk. Like, you're not, you're not speaking yeah. for yeah. I'm that's talking to you. You need one of those that's going to make you want to be like, all right, I'm sorry. Like, I'm going to talk. You want you need a nigga who's going to bring that submissive and, like, soft side out of you. Not saying you're not so, but you're not submissive to your man. Mm-hmm. But at some point, if you feel like you, you can't be submissive, submissive to that man, then he's not. Cause for yo, you, you want to get remarried after this? No, you I'm not. crying. Benito, <laughs> you're out of the picture. No, no, you've been out of the picture. No, no, <laughs> you blew your chance. Fuck up, eight. Out of here. Throw okay, that bitch. She's already divorced. You're wearing a ring. No, yeah, you had divorced the, the same, the same oh, day. No, same. Same day. Nothing though, like I. What you need is you need someone who can match your energy. You don't need an mm-hmm. extra soft but lover boy. You don't need somebody that can match yeah. your energy. You need somebody like, that's going to balance No, you. when I say yeah. match energy, I mean that can literally match where you're at yeah. and then take it above and beyond. Like, like a nigga can literally match what you need. Like, you need a, you need not a rough, extra disrespectful mm-hmm. dude, but a real stern, like, yeah. y'all, what I said. But do like, you know what you want? She don't know. I, you, no. No? No, no, no. no. About it. I know what I want. I want to When I was with Jason's father, mm-hmm. What kind of pissed me off with him was that he wasn't like he didn't give manly energy okay. because we worked together. So it was like I literally found myself sticking up for him because they used to talk down on him consistently at work. And then I always found myself sticking up for him. It was like, why can't you stick up for yourself? Like you're a man. And I find myself fighting all your battles that's 24-7. Gonna, that's gonna take so it was away, like man. it's I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't know what I want, because I know what I want. Like I want somebody who's gonna stick who's going to stick with me through and through. Mm. I want somebody who's going to stick up for me. Mm-hmm. I want somebody who's going to bring that manly energy. Yeah. But it's like, I don't want the disrespect that comes with it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it was like, I found <laughs> it. I feel like I found yes, it. But it's like, I don't know how to handle it. Because when it comes down to me being a, like a female, I feel like I'm rough around the edges. I feel yes, like man. I'm kind of rough around the edges when it comes down to being a female. Because I want that rough. She just want yeah. I want that raw. Like, like I want, I want. All right. So my thing is, nasty, I want like, me a hood nigga who's gonna treat me right. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm it. saying. You need a nigga with two way merit. Yeah. You know, it's not you. Need, you really need a nigga that can really say like and hear what you're saying mm-hmm. and tell you exactly the response you need or show you the mm-hmm. response you need. Because from what I've been hearing, like like the past couple episodes, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. 
you never had a dude that really saying, listen to you and tell you shit. Like, yeah, like, yo, listen, all right, well, I hear what you're saying. This is what it is, man. I got you. Mm-hmm. Look, you daddy and people, yo, I never daddy got that. you. Never, like, never you don't have to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Thing I don't trust. Yeah. It's like, when I get into situationships or whatever it is, I don't tell them it's my past because I feel like when I tell them, they're going to put this persona on that they're good and they're cheating that shit after. Yeah, so it was like, when a nigga come to me and be like, well, what do you want? Or like, what's your expectation? Or what? I don't tell him. Yeah. Because it's like, once I start speaking on my past, you're going to feel me. I don't want that. I just want a nigga who's going to come up straight front and be like, all right, I got you. Show me who you are from the beginning. Exactly. That's, 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 that's it. That's like natural, no natural generous failure. You yeah. want that generous Come here, you get your natural self. Be natural, yeah. normal. Like, don't put on this fake, this fake persona for me. Yeah. yeah. Because and it's it going to mess us up in the long run. You know what's so crazy? A lot of people don't want to hear that shit. Like, it's like, people want that that generous, like that real right generous feel. Like, I don't want you to be who I need you to be. I want you to be who you are. I just want you to naturally be for me. And guess what? You can't always put on that persona either because you can't hide that forever. forever. Right. Yep. You will end up becoming your, your <coughs> same stuff that you were. Stage. Yeah. Yeah. That's and when they start I'm showing, they ask they know they got you. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't tell me stuff I want to hear. Show me yep. who you really are. Yep. Yep. I have another question. This could be like the almost the last question before the, the game thing is. What's your relationship status? I'm single, but in a relationship, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I am. Because like I said, titles matter to me. So it was like, you can't sit here and be like, well, we doing X, Y, and Z. And then we got a title to it. So I'm just having fun. Let's What's your relationship status? It's complicated. For me. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it's going to go. Like, it's, it's mixed signals. You are mixing. But would you like there to be something there with y'all? It's it's very it, it's possible. I I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put that card out there. We ain't did nothing since May, and it's cool. Like you know, what I'm saying I've been green since May. I ain't gonna lie, I'm chilling. Like I ain't really focused on shaking leg or doing shit. Cause this in this in this time frame that I'm in right now, I had a hard time not focus. I like, when we were together, I had a hard time just focusing on me. And it's not her fault. It's nobody else's fault. But where I'm at right now, I'm focused. And y'all see me? I'm busy. I'm working, I'm getting shit done, I'm going crazy. I'm, I'm I like that myself. video you just put out. That's what I'm saying, I'm vocal. Mm-hmm. Like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm shit, but it ain't <laughs> easy. It ain't easy getting here, you know, it takes, it takes time. Right. What's your relationship status? I already said what I had to say. I'm single. Basically. I'm single. I'm single. I'm single. Okay. Um. So what is y'all thoughts on open relationships? No. Not doing it. He ain't gonna do what he did. I don't want to be in an open relationship because I don't want. I can only be one person. The next person. Yeah. I can only, only be for one person. I can only be for one person. Why do we have to have an open relationship? He can't happy? do what I did. I ain't with the open because not for yeah. nothing. You're gonna play yourself when you're gonna be over because you're gonna go to him and realize he ain't got what I got. He will do what I do. Yeah. 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 Do what you do. I'm, I perform. Everything I do, I don't love. One person. I can only. You know what I'm saying? Every other one's out of love. I like what you do. And it's, it's like... You don't even know what he do. I'm not right, open. I'm not, I'm not for the open. Because Yo. not for nothing. The reason I'm really not open for the open is because not for nothing, I'm going to take you to a place and I know I want to take you to. What you said? Make me swim. No, for real. So it's like, yeah. oh, 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 I can't oh. be open because I'm not going to do what I did to you. Know how I really feel about you to the next person. And I'm playing myself. I don't want to be in her group chat. Mm-hmm. Your group chat, I turned you up. Mm-hmm. Her group chat, he gave me some lack of days because she was black. I'm not for that. That niggas always make it into the group, group chat. Group chat, bro, look, if, you, if you're a man, you think you're not in the group chat, bro, you're in the group chat. Sorry. <laughs> it I, know, small, I know I was in the group, the group chat because I was there for four or five years. You think know, I ain't never been in the group chat? I know I was in the group chat. <laughs> and I'm nasty, man. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, if your bitch don't got a group chat, she She You know what I'm saying? Like, not for nothing. I know what goes on in the group chats. I've never seen it. I don't watch phones. I don't look at phones. But. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I just know I'm making the that I'm still here. All right. Um. So, what is the make and break of a relationship for you? I don't know if there's like a really make or break. Take but two. Sometimes just one or two. One. You just Take think two. enough is enough. Like it could just be little things adding up to big things mm-hmm. that you're not really. Why are you smiling? Because this is what I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Hurry up with that question. That's so the hook. Take two. Take two. Oh, yeah. Um. So I feel like the make or break in relationship. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just feel like cheating is like once you do that, you're done. Cheating, yeah, yeah it's, it's, def- it's definitely cheating. It's like because I had this conversation at work the other day, it was, and it was like, Jeanette, you're married, so you can speak on it. Um, so the conversation was, um, 
would you stay with your spouse if he cheated? And two females at my job said they would stay with their spouse, especially if they had kids. And I was kind of confused because I'm like, this is not back in the day. So you can't sit here and be like, I'm staying with my spouse because we got kids together. I feel like cheating is cheating. Mm-hmm. Even if I well, stay with you. It depends. If they have children, it depends on the financial situation. It comes mm-hmm. down to the finances. Yeah. Which is true. But I feel like I can't stay with you. And why I can't stay with you? I feel. And what is cheating? Cause that, cheating, right. cheating is no. different ways. There's no, multiple no, 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 ways of cheating. No, if you're talking to another bitch. To if you're talking to another female. Fine. Whatever. We, we set our vows. We're married. So. We're going to have to deal with it. But if you're fucking somebody else, you're done. Because it's like, even if I do stay with you, I you should not trust me. Because I I'm, said that the other day. if you fuck out on me and we're married, mm-hmm. don't trust me. Are there kids involved? There is kids. Yes. It don't matter if it's kids or not kids. For the kids. I'm, not staying. I'm not staying for okay. the kids. And that's the thing. That's Their sad. thing was they're staying because of the kids. And it's like, if I'm staying with you after I found out you cheated on me, you're done. Because the next nigga that holler at me, I'm on it. <laughs> so you would stay with him if he just regularly talking to somebody. That's what I'm and then you know what? I had a conversation too with the person I'm fucking talking to. And he was like, "What if they have money?" I'm like, "You're stupid." Because now, because at the end of the day, when I married you, it was because I loved you. Now I'm staying with you because you got money. So it's like you still shouldn't trust me because the next nigga that holler at me, I'm on him. Like that's, that's it. What and it's saying. like it's like how could you stay with your spouse? And be faithful to them after you just found out that, that they cheated on you. Because it's like, mm-hmm. now the trust is gone. Like, I can't trust you. Jeanette just mm-hmm. said, are you staying with them because of financial reasons? Uh-huh. She said at this point, kind of like what your yeah. uh, uh-huh. two friends at uh-huh. work said. At that point, they're just staying with them for, depending on their financial Yeah, the person of So the that's why you, when you come, that's also what she said, when you bring something to the table. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make sure you got your shit figured out because X, Y, and Z. If he cheats on you. And he has all the money. What are you gonna do? Exactly. So now you have no choice but to stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying in regards to I can to be like homeless and I'm leaving. It's, it's, very it's easier said than done. You know, that's a lot of people. I just in feel that like, situation. listen, the last, like I said, the last situation I was in, I was off of that nigga until I found out he was cheating and I was out. But you have your own house. You that's have true. money, so you're not really struggling. That's true. What if you have nothing and you giving this nigga your all and he? He's telling you, I'm gonna put you in this situation. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna buy you this. I'm gonna get but you that this. You're gonna be straight. That would never be me because I'm an independent ass female. But it's not about you. I'm no, I know that, but you have to think about yourself in this situation. Yeah. It's like if we get married or whatever and you handle all the finances, like that's okay. Mm-hmm. But once I find out you're cheating, I'm gonna find a way to get out. Mm-hmm. Like there is no if, ands, or buts, and I'm taking my kids with me. But it might not be right then and there, you mm-hmm. leaving when he cheat, because you might stay a little But you're not gonna get the same me. It's like I Don't could trust be, me if you cheat I me. could be staying around because I'm not fam- financially stable at the time, but I'm gonna find a way out. <laughs> but and even even me. if even if I do take some time like, to find that way I'm out, lying, even I'm if it's like even if it's like a year or whatever. Could that get back? <laughs> <laughs> be a get back. Like even if even if I I am not like not financially stable or whatever, like that's not the case, but I'm gonna find a way out. So it's like we could sit here for a year. Yeah. And I'm fucking with the next nigga because you cheated on me. So but why would you think now, why I like would you, you think, know, you know, would you like think my this? loyalty is only to you? Know, you know what I like about this? Like what we got going on here? No. I disagree with what y'all saying. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because, but you was just agreeing with me. Now I agree with you on some points, but not what you just said. I pointed out that you got to disagree. Not because I agree. <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I'm your man, for real. Nah, I stay with you for fifty cents, Jason. You wrong, you wrong. But. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, but the reason I feel like if you if you cheat on me, I'm not gonna cheat on you. That's because I'm, I'm true to who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like I don't I don't move off emotion, but that's that's like a women thing. Like, and I'm trying to say every woman It's a same. men thing too. Mm-hmm. Nah, some dudes be really be tender. I ain't gonna lie. Some dudes really be tender, but like with me, like I said, I really stand on male energy, male grown man, big mind thing in Zimmy. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change myself because of what you did to me. I'ma still be for you. Not said I'm gonna take you back after you cheat on me because you cheat mm-hmm. on me, it, you already, you already done stepped on whatever we had going on. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if I, if I, if I happen to play stupid, not play stupid, but really be dumb and really mm-hmm. still love you, do whatever. If I'm with you, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do what you did to me for the mere fact that you know what you did and you know how I feel. Now I don't mm-hmm. want to make you feel like that because I really still love you. I genuinely love you throughout the whole situation. You know what I'm saying so I can't violate you that way. 
Now, as a man, I could deal with that because I'm, I'm, I'm built for that. I'm a man. I gotta deal with this type of shit. I deal with shit every single day of my life. It's just, it's just another, it's just another L I gotta take. Nah, me. Any type of cheating for me is just over with. I don't no, yeah, no, no, bro, it, if you text the next person, oh, you look at the next person. That, that's that's it. it. I don't give a fuck about fucking them. That right? cheating is different things. Yeah. It's but over with. Is, right? You're gonna have to stay with the person because you're not financially stable. It's like even yeah. if I stay with you, it's not gonna be the same. Like right. I'm disgusted by you at this yeah. point. So it's like I'm yeah. going to find my way out. It may not be now. It may not be next. But it's gonna happen. But it's gonna happen. Anything you say is a lie. Sex from me? Are you dumb? Now, I'm getting now, it from the next now, nigga. Now look, now and look. You don't even know. Wait, don't even know. now you see how we we, we reverted yeah. this shit back to finances. It's never the finances about me. It, it was never finances. <laughs> Yikes! Me. You know what I'm saying? See, though, it was never finances with me. Mm-hmm. As a man, my job is to what provide make sure everybody's thoughts. It was never about finances. <laughs> but not everybody has that mindset. Like and, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Niggas be on some weird shit. But now, yeah. me personally, speaking on trial aspect, it was never a finance thing because even if I don't got it, you got it. So as a, a woman, you think the man is supposed to provide for you? No, as a man, I feel like a man is supposed so, to provide. So, like I said, me, I knew you were gonna answer that. I answered for you. As a man, a man is supposed to provide. Okay, daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you don't have to because not for nothing. As a man, as a man, if you can't take care of your wife, your kids, so I'm fucking careful. We supposed to take care of him. My wife is never supposed to take care of me. I don't wear the skirt. But that's a man. What about what about female perspective? Like say gay couple wise, gay couples, gay couple wise, gay couple. Gay couple wise is a fifty fifty. You know what? Y'all I, do what y'all do. All right. Nobody, you know nobody dictates. Though, but I want to be sure. There should be an agreement between the. All right. So, so you yeah. know what? Yeah. 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 Yeah care about no other female yeah. it feels a different way i feel like yeah. if my man is out here he's busting his ass he's mm-hmm. working he's making money i gotta match that yes because it's, it's like this whole controversy on who handles the rent who pays the most bills we're together mm-hmm. so we are but supposed to handle that do you feel like is that just with guys or females right. too that like you gotta you gotta do more. both is no, it guys you gotta think about the, the gay super gay they, people too they think that we're still back in the 1900s where the women is just out here just having kids and handling shit. It's 2023. It times is rough out here. But listen, so to I feel thing. like if I gotta if I gotta pitch in with my man, that's it. Yeah. It's like we both bringing in the bread. So why does it matter who's paying what? Who's doing yeah, what? Really or what if you it's can't? Over. What if you can't bring in the bread? But at least have. Then you food. shouldn't be in a relationship. No. But <laughs> have food cooked or something. Have that house clean. That shit go to the kids. Okay. Do you do you see how y'all say about for guys? Nick is good. He coming home to a whole family. Yeah, exactly. Every fucking night. Somebody was talking about some some women. Your nigga doing all the work. He's working. He's doing all stuff. But you home, and he's not. He don't have no home cooked meal. That's whack. You the see, house not good. But now American those nice niggas, people, they listen, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Americans are very I'm going to put it out there. Easy. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to put it out, there. Put it out yes. there. Put it there. If he's coming home to nothing, he's cheating on you. He is. Gangsta. <laughs> because I'm sorry my for man, bros. If my man is sure going out. Doing nothing, uh-huh. I'm about to expose y'all niggas. Listen, but not I don't believe none of that. Bro. You're right. If my man is outside working every day hard as fuck, he's. I don't care if I'm dealing with kids all day. You come home to home cooking them. And you're getting great pussy. Talking about, mm-hmm. and you don't even have to ask for it. As soon as you come through the door, I'm sucking it. Is there, it's so okay, but you see how y'all talk about the guys, the, the husbands, and all that should be yeah. providing this and that. What about two feet? What about two females? What about two females? Right, that's 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 now, now, as a man, that's what I'm saying. The gender, I don't know how it's that's females that's too. Speak up and you I'm need like to this. put your yeah. you because okay. you're allowing them to speak and they have a version of whatever Look, I'm gonna speak I'm gonna speak from my mm-hmm. aspect I'm gonna speak from my aspect of what I, I feel like y'all relationship was or 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 male or two males two males say what you're checking she's over here like well what is yeah because it's true everybody just like partners by half like what the hell now as a man I'm on your you know how, side. You know how men be. Because it's always men, 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 men. Yeah. men. What about the female relationship? Yeah. And of course, one of the females is going to be kind of man. Yes. Yeah, so, 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 do y'all put them in that same category as a husband? No. Husband that provides it. I feel like it should be 50 50. Let me answer. Can I answer this? Yeah, let the lady talk about it. I think that the two people here who have experiences with that should be speaking. Oh, right. Because, yeah. 
Go ahead, Kiara. Go ahead, Kiara. Listen. I don't feel like the, all the responsibility should be on the more, the more manly. Yeah. What do you call it? I don't want to say the more, the more manly, the more, manly, manly, manly female. Yeah. The more, more dominant, dominant, dominant one. Dominant oh. But if you're portraying that image, mm -hmm. you gotta keep going with that image you're given. Don't lead me to some false advertisement mm -hmm. or whatever because you're saying you want to provide for me mm -hmm. and do all this stuff but what are you really showing to do that you know okay. because now when it comes and i feel like i'm providing just as much as you and i don't feel like i have that weight lifted off my shoulder that's gonna make me want to go you know also in the beginning too you telling me oh you gonna do this for me mm -hmm. you doing that for me mm -hmm. but now when i don't see you doing <laughs> it <laughs> i don't see you doing it and i'm bringing it up now yeah. That's gonna make me no. like question you, like okay. what happened to when you say you was gonna do this for me? Right. Yeah, but I feel like if you in the beginning you told me you gonna do A X Y and Z da 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 for me, mm -hmm. do it because now if I don't see you doing it, <laughs> now I feel like you lied to me. You know. I don't know. I just feel like everybody should have their bag, have your own bag. Because at the end sure. day, well, you, you have your own bag. You, you are fifty fifty person, person, and I like that. You we need a rebuttal. Talk your shit, Diamond. Talk your shit, Big D. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> the fall, this is an A. Ain't the little one. <laughs> Who raised y'all? Ain't the little one. <laughs> Corey, tell them how some decorum. I'm drunk. <laughs> Ain't the little one. <laughs> Talk about it. Um, I mean, like, like she did say, if you do come to a relationship saying that you're going to give this, this, and that, do provide and all that stuff but it's like sometimes you could be providing for a long period of time so and so and so and it's you're not gonna get the same thing every single day that you want sometimes mm -hmm. it's gonna be zero percent but you gotta get that hundred to meet that person so it's oh it's not it's always gonna be 50 50 in a yep. relationship that's yep. what people feel yep. to realize yep. it's yep. never gonna be 50 50. i'm gonna be giving 60 this day and you're gonna get 40 so it's you my job to get that extra, extra yeah. exactly so for me i feel like 50 50 i have no problem with doing 50 50 but even if it's 50 50 i'm still gonna do other stuff You're that's gonna provide like yeah i'm still show. like even if okay you pay the rent i got this the I car so so it's always i feel like it's, it's always something 50 50 wise uh-huh i'm sorry i'm gonna jump in so go ahead go ahead we always love the question from the back side so if both you and your partner are doing that which one would you rather do the most like what would you rather do Male and Shut up. <laughs> if both of y'all are making good money for the longest time, <laughs> and then both of you guys are paying kind of a half half, not all the way, sometimes a little bit more than one, or sometimes the other, you know, depending, sometimes people get sick, so you have to kind of cover for the other person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are both financially pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, one of the, par one of the, the people, or one of the partners, starts not doing so well financially but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep doing what i have to do it for you to get back to where you was i'm not gonna just gonna give up and all that stuff so it's like okay yeah say i'm, if I'm paying some of the bills you paying some of the bills i'm gonna keep doing like i'm gonna do the little extra stuff on the side to make it not even equal wise but here and there wise but it's like if i'm doing if i'm paying this bill that bill taking taking you out doing this taking you out doing that i will want something to kind of match what I have to like, okay, yeah. you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but you could, uh, let me take, let me fly you out here, or let me buy you this, or just something in general wise. So, uh, so you, you feel like everybody that's watching this, I need your, I need your answer in the, I need your answer in the audience. comments. Audience. Comment. Definitely comment. answer in the comments because listen. In the comments. I'm here now. I want to know what's going on. I want to know everybody's <laughs> perspective on shit. This. You know what I'm saying? I'm, in I'm here now. I want to know what, I want to know what everybody's perspective is, right? It says, would you rather silent sex or loud Sorry. screaming sex? Um, and I'm gonna answer first. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go Let ahead. me get into my mold. This is this is my segment. Now we now we gonna talk about it, right? So look. He's fixing his collar. He's serious. Now look. Now listen. I'm gonna change my voice. Now ready? So loud. Look. Hey, now look. So loud. I feel like I feel like as a man, I want. I want the loud screaming sex for a reason because I want to know how it make you feel. I want to know. Mm -hmm. that you if you enjoying right. what I'm doing, if you want me to keep doing what I'm doing, if you like wholeheartedly never because if you quiet, you like what the f quiet, am I doing this shit? Like what, quiet, what's what's going I'm on? Not, like I'm eh. the last guy. That I'm, ass. Say, I'm not worried about the the last duel at the end of the day, sexually wise. I wanna know that I'm doing better than the last person. Mm -hmm. So I want you to be vocal on that. You gotta <laughs> tell me what you like. 
But because I'm gonna perform. Every tell time. me what you so want. So I want to be able to perform on an aspect that you want me to perform. You take I want you. I want. I want to take your show. On. I want to show you a vibe. I want. You, I want to be that one. I want. I want to be the number one, not two. I want to be top two, not two. So <laughs> I want to be that man for you. That's like damn. I love like, you. I want you to be like Trevor. I want you to be like Trevor. I want you to be like him. Mm-hmm. But not for nothing, niggas can't match up. So you sound I, like a giver. I'm a giver. Oh, how am I give us? That'll make me want to give. Mm-hmm. I right. will remind them and they want to give. You say, want to give somebody else like clean. Not every female that's screaming yeah. is screaming because they love the shit. They scream because they trying to get that shit over and done with. That's a fact. And my mother always told me, sometimes right. when you enjoy the sex, you're not loud. I mean, you don't want silent sex because like yeah. you just hear a little. Su- you want to hear something. Oh, no. You want to hear a little yeah, something, a little moan or something. You don't got to like, be screaming like to know the shit is good, but you got to let them you know. You shouldn't be completely yeah. silent. That's the thing. It, if you're screaming, I'm going to think you're always that crazy. Yeah. Because not for nothing, I don't got a 12-inch law that's ripping you apart. I really want to know if you're enjoying yourself. Mm-hmm. That's me. I want you. I want to know if you're going to know. I want you to change something. I want you to know if you like what you like, if you want this, if you want this. You want this. Wait, we can not, this out today. I'm a giver. Like, oh. As a man, though, because men don't speak on, men don't, like a lot of people don't speak on what needs to be given as a man. You know what I'm saying? So I, for the men that really care about a woman finishing first and enjoying herself more than I'm going to enjoy myself. Yeah. Not saying I'm not enjoying myself, but, but I want to make sure she was saying sure before. I, yeah, uh huh. They don't make niggas like you. Know. I want you to. And you, you, you be sitting there like this, like this, like I I'm still going. Yes. Yep. Hello. You gotta get to, and that's what it is. But that's just me. That's just Charlie. Your man might be different. Your man might be on my type of time. Just but, but I'm different. That's a niggas is different. He not like you. He not different. I'm saying. So would y'all rather missionary or doggy style? Okay. Okay. So I like missionary. Before too. I used to like missionary, right? Because I felt like it was just more intimate. But the nigga that I'm dealing with now, that Joey became crazy. Crazy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Cause y'all keep on there. And she wonder why that nigga single. <laughs> she wonder why. Before Diamond answered, like it's like me, I'm a bitch. I want to fuck back. And it's like if you can't catch my rhythm, the shit's all off. So it's like every nigga that I've ever gave doggy style to, like this should be blowing his mind because I be moving crazy. Crazy. Do you see his body? Do you see this shit? This shit. Make me sway. Right. Make me wider. I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I'm not with the pillow princess shit. It's like, if you mm. fuck me, fuck me, mm. I'm fucking back. And it's like, if you can't match my energy, it's not going to work because you could be catching the vibe and catching the rhythm, and I'm throwing my shit back crazy. So it was like, when we do doggy style, that's when I'm throwing this ass back. So it was like, when we no, do doggy, that shit is, it, it just feels good. It feels good. I, I have a question. Have you ever been in love? In middle school. I mean, I what, I thought, what I thought was love was not actually love, so I feel like I'm, I was never in love. I just said it because niggas said it to me. So mm-hmm. I feel like so I have genuine. No. So, and this is the wrap up of episode seven, where we give you the real, raw, uncut, and unapologetic version of myself. So we give you the real, raw, uncut, and unapologetic versions of ourselves. <laughs> Wait, start it up, uh, Kiara. Why you look at me like that? That was wrong. She's wilding. Talk about other shit. That had nothing to do with this conversation. Yo, not for nothing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>